All right. Well, here we go. 2020. Okay. 2020 BCA World Championships. Uh, the 2020 CSI Expo. Uh, this is for first place of the Gold Division Singles 8-Ball. Uh, we have Wei Nye versus Lance Stenchfield. Race to six. Uh, second place gets thirty-two hundred dollars. I think first place is at five grand. I was watching Lance uh, warm up, and he looks like a quick player to me, like a fast player. Uh, we shall see. Eight ball has a, a tendency to slow everybody down, though. All right, this is a race to six. So I'll change that. Nice. Uh, if you know either of these guys, friends or family, might want to send them a, a, a link to this. Sometimes that's the best way to let people know what's going on. Then they don't have to search for it. They can just click. Hey, Wambra. All right, here we go. Lance is breaking a head ball break. I've seen a lot of people with a lot of luck with the head ball break. Still a fan of the second ball break, but listen, those guys are making it happen. solids. Uh, I don't like the 14, 11, 12 that are down there in a row. And I believe the one ball goes. I think the two goes from where he's sitting right now. I'm not saying he should take it, but uh, he should at least think about it. Because that is a little gap right there that he's got to hit. He could take the five and slide over for the one ball or for the three to get on the one because the one is another tricky ball. You could take the five, slide over for the four and then the one. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, Lance is from Montana. Oh, no, he's not. He's from Missouri. Excuse me. Hey, what's up, Kevin Boo? Uh, Mike D. Mike Deitchman. Uh No one is Mitch Ellerman fast, boss. Uh, I got to play him uh, in a... Oh, I don't know. He was on a team. I was on a team uh, for Vegas. Uh, Vegas Venom, Venom versus uh, the Oregon team. Uh, and he's fast. Nice, nice. He got far enough to not get blocked in by that five ball. Yeah, at some point he's going to have to get on that one four. And if, if you land correctly there, not a problem at all. But boy, if you end up too high and banging into like the 12 ball or the 11 off of the one, you know, that's all of a sudden what was easy turns into a mess. Uh, he landed good. Yeah. He should be able to draw off that one, come back to the right hand rail, and bounce off a little bit for the four ball. Uh, and from there, it's, it's pretty easy shape for the five ball, I would think. Yeah.
We're both on. We're both on. I wish those little red lights worked. Mm-hmm. That'd be nice. That'd be fun. Yeah. That. Mike D. Back for the five ball. Summerfield Happener. Bad Boys TV. Nice shot. Eight ball. Yeah. So I told you this last guy plays pretty at a pretty quick pace. Gold Division. <laughs> Finals. You can't believe it. I can't believe it. Uh, the Smashburger countdown is on, by the way. Yeah. Oh, man, you're worried. Well, a little concerned. Well, I thank God I have food in my room, so, you know. Uh, interesting. All right, that was a cool way to go. He popped it over. Yeah, I liked it. No, yeah, I just, definitely got to punch that a little bit to get over. He's going to have a little bit of a cut on this eight ball, but that's okay. Oh, yeah, that's nice. Hit that pretty. He pushed that forward, that cue ball forward really nicely with the stroke. Yeah. This is game one, yeah? It is game one. Well, I might have missed the beginning, but I got here perfect time to see right. him run that out. Nice nice uh, out there, Lance. I think we're going to get to see Wade now. Uh, Wade's from California. What part? California. That's, that's a good question. Yeah. He told me. Yep, from California. From California. Sunny from California. The, the state yeah. of California. The sunny part. Yeah. Calabar? Calabar? Kelba. I just, no, I'm oh, just, Kelba. I'm just trying to say. I don't. I don't know if you guys out there will know. Where, will know, know where it is. But, <laughs> but, but, uh, but if you're from there, you know what I'm talking about. That's right. Yeah. Uh, you know where the other guy's from? Uh, I. I. Yes. Tell me. Wise River, Montana. You know where Wise River, Montana is? No. Way. Neither does anyone else. Uh, my mother, who lives very close to Wise River, says, "Oh, for God's sake." He doesn't still live there, live there, does he? <laughs> he said there aren't very many people who can say they're from Wise River. She said that. Uh, that's so funny. I have, um, I have told people that he's from Missouri. From Missouri. <laughs> it's the show me state. It's pretty and close. I thought he was going to show me. Yeah. <laughs> there it is. Sending my mom the link. Oh, I'm pretty loud. Thank you, Wombra. Am I channel one? I am channel one. Drop me down. Let me know if that's better out there, guys. So they went 6-5 last time, and are at it again. Okay. D is always whispering. Uh, Krautmaster, if you can see, uh, man, we are we're maybe 10 feet away from the table. Would you Maybe more than that. Is that maybe 15 feet? Would you say we got shushed? And, there's a, and we got shushed from we a referee earlier. Yeah. Uh, there is a curtain in between us, and you can see through the curtain. I mean, it is it is a very, you know, it's, it's, true. It's, it's not even a thick curtain. And so the players can hear us. You know why else I think Mike whispers? Because yeah. he gets told to shut up so often. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't actually know if that's true. Probably not. Um, I haven't said it anyway, yet. But anyway, Crowdmaster, yeah, I agree. And Crowdmaster, I believe we are now officially Facebook friends, and that's pretty exciting. Nice. The world of Facebook uniting us all. God, you know who's not Facebook friends with him? Who's that? Me. I feel like he's showing showing favoritism. I feel like well, Do you want to get into your Facebook? Uh, no. Okay. I, I really don't. Okay. I just All right. I'm really just joking around. Good for you. I'm glad you're making friends. I well I share all of this stuff from my Facebook. Like, true that. <laughs> <laughs> Not at all. Uh very, very funny. All right. Well, was that a dry break? I Six, believe so, yeah. Twelve fifteen, yep. Oh, I appreciate it, Crowdmaster. Look for you somewhere. Hard guy to find. It's a secret. Yep. And I don't know. What are you doing here? It's times like this when I mean, I'm sorry. I just there's just not. I don't know. We're gonna have to wait and see what he does. The ten screwed. The one doesn't look good. I don't like the two ball. It uh, is Lance at the table, yeah, John. Can you pass? Can you say, like in poker, just pass? Check. Yeah, check. 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 But check kind of. of. I mean, you have to physically do something, but mm-hmm. you could. That's kind of a check right there. Yeah. I do not think that simplified anything. I don't want to shoot any one of those shots. Yeah, I, that was a good shot that he just shot there. Uh, he can glance off the three ball and put the cue ball back exactly Same where spot. it is right now. That's yeah, what I was one thinking. One pocket teaches you. So if they, if they didn't like it the first time, they won't like it the second time. And if you don't like it there, they probably won't like it there either. You That's know, very true. The little simple rules that 
I don't think come up a lot. I do feel like we should write down some Mike Diasms. Like at some point, I would hope there would be a pool book of of rules of the road. You know, that's the problem with pool books is they're often titled rules of the road <laughs> playing off the rail i that's a good book you don't like playing off the rail i don't like the title no it's a good title that's a fine title it's really it's a funny good book. he's it's, listening it's, it's you know he's listening book. no it's a hell of a book you know who that is no, crowd master that? Crowd he wrote master. that book <laughs> yeah not friends anymore right? <laughs> i wouldn't take that person crowd either. Uh, yeah, I think you're right, though. Right side of the three ball coming right back there. Uh, knocking the three ball down towards the corner pocket. Trying to keep it hugged in a little tighter. I almost bought a book this week. Okay. It was the Encyclopedia of Pool Hustlers. Have you seen that book before? No, I haven't. It's pretty cool. I actually just looked through it for a minute, and I was like, how much is this book? It was 40 bucks. Pool books are expensive, and I... That they was, are expensive. Yeah. Yeah. Do you think that it should have named been named Encyclopedia of Failed Pool Hustlers? Because I mean if they're in the pool in the Encyclopedia of Pool Hustlers, they're probably not doing a lot of hustling. I mean, <laughs> there should be a caveat in that title, I feel like. Like hide and seek champions. And yeah. Not so much. Yeah. They wouldn't not really. How about former pool hustlers? Former pool hustlers, yes. Yeah. No, but I get it. Because cool. the current encyclopedia is far more valuable. We can we can let's rewind for a second. Uh pool books are very expensive. Yes, uh, are. one pocket books are crazy expensive. Uh those old spiral bound. And ones? they're yes, and they're like nine pages or they're something. They're like pamphlets for God's sakes. I guess that's what I'm saying. You and I are missing the boat. We could have Mike Deisms in there. I don't know if we're gonna start at hundred and twenty bucks. I feel we'll like you're there. very politely uh, comparing me to Yoki Berra, <laughs> and I want you to know that I understand what you're doing, and I don't necessarily appreciate <laughs> it. <laughs> I feel like there's a, an implication of almost an idiot savant going on there <laughs> where you're giving me a compliment and then also kind of saying it's amazing that, you know, we're getting information from this de- guy. Definitely, definitely, de- de- def- definitely got to write a book. Definitely got to write a book. <laughs> Sorry. All right, so the one ball is still an issue. The two ball is still an issue. I uh, am in no way saying that. Yeah. yeah. This is not a fun out. Because, <clears throat> uh, yeah, I mean, the three, you got to get pretty steep under that 8 through 10 yeah. to use that as your break yeah. ball. Yeah. If you come behind it using the five, you're still going to break it out. I mean, you got to hit that ball to get it back out through the center of the so, table. All right, so I guess let's have a real conversation. So if he's solids, is that correct? Yes. It's time to start blocking things. Uh, make the one ball a little farther away from the stripe, but leave it on the rail so he can't pocket his stripe. And then every time it's your turn, do a move like that because this rack sucks. And you might as well control it. How many pool players play eight ball like that? Not, um, not many. Not many. I hear what you're saying, and I know that the reason is because you, you got to see the long game. But the whole idea is that eventually your opponent's going to go for it. And, I mean, we saw you and James DeVee play today. You guys both subscribed to that. It took a – it was what? I mean, that was a 45-minute game. It was a long game. It was a long game. I think people also have embarrassment about – taking shots that don't uh, make the game proceed. Uh-huh. Uh, so I think there's, I think it's not just that they can't see the long game. It's that they think, oh, my opponent's going to get, so he's going to think, why aren't I running out? Why am I being a jerk just playing safety after safety? Or or they they think the crowd thinks it's silly that they're not going for it, or they're uncomfortable in some way or another. Meanwhile, they watch pros do that 90 times in a row, and somehow they don't connect those two things. And and I, not to put anybody on blast for my league, but I play league every week, and no, nobody ever blocks pockets on me. Nobody ever mm. blocks my balls. No, I, yeah. it's very unusual. Interesting. Yeah. Uh, the term grind is associated with pool a lot. You got to grind this one out. Yeah. And I think that's where that comes from. And it, it's definitely not a term of like oh, stupid grinder. It's like man, ground that out. Right. Exactly. It's a, it's a big deal. It's exactly. an important skill to have. Exactly. And I think that's. Yeah. Grind, moral of the story, grinding is important. Yeah. Is he going to try and slide out and get the two now? Okay. Block to pocket. Step one. I'm 
now. I don't know if I if I am Lance right now. I kind of want to make that six, right? If it's yes, if you could if you could cut that nine into the six ball, now would be a great time to do that. Yeah. Uh, it's not necessarily in his way right now, but the problem is it might be in his way four shots from now, and he's going to wish he had taken care of it. Yeah. A lot of stuff comes down to chess, and in chess you would want to take care of that position immediately. And the same thing, you can't have all these pawns sitting there. you got to get him. Kevin, are you in in Las Vegas right now, and are you interested in gambling? Because I think I might have a game for you. Uh, I, I think you're totally right. At some point you do just have to go for it which at, at the end of the long safe play is what you want. But I think that's that's the what Mike I, G's talking about I right now. I agree with Kevin and John completely. I guess what I'm saying is people pull the trigger on that decision that you're talking about way too early, like 12 shots They make shots a decision not early. based on the table. They make a decision based on now I should go. But, uh, yes, or based on I just played three safeties and I don't like to play four safeties in a row, although yeah. I don't think they consciously think that. But they do at some point. They're like, all right. Again, uh, Kevin, I, I like your point that, yeah, you do have to be confident you can make it, but we were talking a little bit about that. You were calling it like, uh, I was calling it be a believer. You're calling it the Biff syndrome Yeah, yeah when you're yeah. overconfident. Yeah, being Biff yeah. from uh, uh, Back to the Future, if you're not old like me. Biff thought he was going to beat everybody's ass, and he just keeps getting pushed. Got hit with the poop the truck. Yeah, yeah, the guy with the poop truck, yeah. I, also, I think he uh, got beat up uh, during an attempted rape, too, which nobody likes to talk about. But anyway. <laughs> you heard the John Mulaney bit. Oh, my God. Moments. Yes, I have. Of course. Yeah. Wow. That's a really nice shot. That was a really, that was a powerful shot, actually. That that might be a game changer right there. Because uh, if he could make him touch that 14 ball, that would free up his two ball. Uh, yeah, that that's a change right there. That's pretty big. Yeah. So we're we're talking about going for it. We're talking about being oh, patient. Kevin, I know what you're saying, bro. Yeah, go ahead. We watched. Uh, we watched James Devee play in that final, and we watched him kind of chasing the tail that whole time, and you could kind of see that like, the urgency was there. He had to he had to win that game. Mm -hmm. He had to get it back, and you could just see like, I don't know, maybe maybe waited too long to play that safe, but when you're playing against somebody who everything's rolling their way. You have that feeling. You're like, I got to make this ball. And he was fortunate to make it happen. Yep. And in his defense, a few times he made it happen. Um, nice shot. Very nice. Things starting to open up a little bit. I think tempting your opponent is a big one. I think you want him to shoot that three ball right now. I actually kind of like shooting the three ball because if you get low or high on the five ball, you could break out the two. Making the five ball, if the, you know, I assume you guys understand what I'm talking about. Yep. Uh, yeah, I would prefer to be low on the five and come up, uh, but boy, you could be a little high on the five and go off the rail and you know go two rails into the fourteen ball. Mike, I've never heard you say I'd prefer to be low. Well, but there you go. <laughs> inside, I like to be inside of the object ball. I, gotcha. I really do. Underneath. I feel like uh, I feel like on when I'm on the inside of it, I can use English and draw and forward and whatever to go. Got a so lot of things working that on direction. the table. Yep. If I'm coming up into it, I have to worry about rattling the pocket a little more too. Yeah, uh, yeah. I just I like being underneath or inside. So I really want to spin this ball when I shoot it. Um, I'm going to shoot a bunch of left English to throw that three ball in the pocket. Yeah, I agree. And my concern is when I get to that rail, how much speed it's going to pick up based on the English. Yes. Yeah, you're right. Now, if you block the 14, not a bad Changes shot. I mean, around. you yeah, still got to deal with the 13, 14. Uh, there were some real positives in that shot. Mm -hmm. uh, there were some negatives. Uh, the three, the five, and the two are easy to hook you on. Yep. Uh, all he really has to do is, is slow roll up Bad to the 12 or the, the 11. Yeah, the 15 or the 11. Yeah. And just leave it there and, you know. Uh, the problem, though, with doing that is that 14 is still not really makeable, even if you do that. So, And you're probably not going to get ball in hand. This is true. Oh, 
doesn't work. Yep, and there's that safe I'm talking about. Yeah. Uh, whoever said I was Krautmaster, uh, whoever said I was Whispered, see, right now, I'm concerned that he heard me say he should go for the 11 ball. And he probably didn't, but it's concerning. Yeah. Well, when I was playing on the TV table, I definitely was like, hey, I can hear you guys. I just heard you name a ball. And we definitely had a ref come talk to us uh, three hours ago and say, oh, my God. Yeah. He's too loud. He's like, wow, really? I can hear you over here. Do you think... That warning transfers. Do you think we get one warning a match? Do you think we get one warning a day? Well, one she warning said she penalized us a game. I don't know game. what that means. But she looks serious about it. It's going to cost you a game. <laughs> right. Not joking, and I don't blame her. Thank you to all the referees taking this seriously. They work very, very difficult. Oh, believe Long it, days. seriously. I think that's a way better shot. Uh, I guess as uh, long as we're talking about things, uh, the people who were in the ref program for training got the short end of the stick because yeah. they did three classroom days, and then our friend Matt McGinnis. I think that I think it's like I mean I'm making this up, but it's it's like five days of on the floor training or something. Seven hundred hours total. Is it seven hundred hours? Yeah. Jesus, it's a lot. And then once and then once you're set, you can go do all these tournaments, and it's great. Where well, you're supposed to kind of walk away from this week here or this two weeks to do here. It. Oh my God. Being fully fledged, your your yep. official ref. I'm making a lot of this up. I you get what I'm saying. He didn't get the floor time. Yeah, you know, they're, and they're not they're not official refs. I now. really do feel for him. The, it does transfer though, so all they're going to have to do is get their floor time. But yeah, they're really counting on teams to get that floor time, and I think chances are because there's a lot more refs called during teams. Yes. Oh, seriously. Hey, you get a bunch of groups of guys together. They're going to argue. That's the truth. Yeah, you know I. I'm bummed that we can't stream all this stuff, but at the end of the week, I mean, can you imagine if we had four days of teams coming up here? It'd be, it'd be a lot. Four days before loadout. I wish we did. I would take that any day over what we got, but it'd be a lot. Kevin, thank you so much for the compliment, and I, I'm glad you appreciate it. We sure appreciate it, too. I know that these are hard times for all of us, and I'm glad that you're enjoying the stream. Uh, if you really like it, big thank you to Bad Boys, um, OB Custom Cues, and or just OB Cues. I'm sure they do customs also, but I think it's just OB Cues. Gosh darn they right, they do, yeah. And make sure you, you like the channel. Make sure you ding that bell. I've heard ding that bell. I think it means that people we say call that. you. It's yeah. Some people say. Like we call you when uh, we go live. So try to do that. Uh, Subscribe. We're, we're not going to call you. <laughs> Mike's not going to call you. Not, no guarantees for me. Your phone might make a sound, but it's not yeah. us actually calling It's not you. a phone call. That would be uncomfortable. It'd be a lot of people to call. I could make it uncomfortable. Yeah. <laughs> if if it's not uncomfortable, the, I'll make it uncomfortable. Colby will call you. Middle of the night. Colby, right, exactly. Guaranteed. Dinosaur voice. We will wake up a nine-year-old. Yes. And yeah. And she will call you. <laughs> Speaking of weird. She is hilarious. Uh, yeah, uh, I think there's going to be a lot of pool watching in everybody's future. Do you have any matches you're excited to watch? Um, no. No? No. Nothing at all? No. All right. Do you uh, have a player that you enjoy watching more than other pros? Uh, Alex Pagalion, I really like. Me too. Um, Efren Reyes, I really like. I don't think Alex is a counter. I don't think so either. He's no, a wily little so sucker. He is. Yeah. Yes, he is. Yeah. yeah. I love watching him play pool. Yeah. Wow. Uh, I I really like listening to Kevin and Sherry Ross. Uh, Sherry Ross especially. I do uh, too. So I usually listen to. They've got Derby stuff coming out. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I would like to like to hear them uh, and their Derby stuff. Yeah, they do a really good job. Sherry has a, an incredible amount of knowledge about uh, oh the players and what round they're in and and how they did last year and when they these guys played last and just she just has a lot of facts and I think it really adds a lot to a stream when you can give all those facts you know I, totally I try agree. to make up by being funny that's uh -huh. all I, it's all I got he's more than just a pretty face he's funny looking too I'm, I'm yeah. funny too yeah you can laugh at me too well we have that in common. That's for sure.
yeah, Alex, it kind of doesn't seem to matter what uh, position he's in. He is always going to be a little loud, a little wily, a little crazy. Yes, and he does like to sing, Kevin. Yeah. And Beautiful Casey, voice. I don't think that was good. <laughs> I didn't hear it. Uh, Casey said that his, based long story short, the ref's given advice. And I don't think they're there to give advice. I had a ref get a look on his face when the, when my opponent told him what he was going to do. And I thought, you know, even the look on your face isn't, isn't you know, what if he said, what if he sees the look on was your it face? Like, He's uh, like, oh, never mind. Uh, yes, it was. It, yeah. was. it was. It was a yes, big guy. Uh, yeah. The guy's got, He's got an extension on his cue. It's 19 feet long. His cue must weigh 40 pounds. And the cue ball is two inches from the object ball, and he's getting ready to slam it so he can get the cue ball down table. Uh -huh. And I said, okay, okay, just a second. Let me get a ref. And the ref came, and he had my God. same affect where he's like, okay, okay. Can I tell you the end of the story? Yeah. Legal yes. hit. <laughs> no way. Legal hit. Totally was legal was hit. it a legal hit? It was a legal hit. Yeah, I have not seen a ref make a bad call since I've been here, and uh, not saying it has happened, but no, I've I've dealt with. I call a ref, and like a ref called on me, whatever. It gets weird. Yeah. Uh, oh, so yeah. yeah, I've had a lot of ref interactions while I've heard they've all been great. Uh oh, something happened. We have a winner. I don't see the refs warning them. Right. You know. I throw one beer. <laughs> I throw one beer. <laughs> uh. I used to have a friend that would get drunk and dump out the tray of pool balls and roll them down the pool hall. Oh, yeah. yeah, just go. <laughs> the, the whole tray just go. Choo! The whole and the pool hall is long, just balls rolling down the pool hall. And that that was just the f u m out. It was like the exit strategy. No, he would just be drunk and he thought it was funny. Was he right? Was he right? Yeah. No, he wasn't right. It wasn't. It wasn't cool, funny. It was. Oh, it was funny. Yeah. yeah oh, it was. He was right about that. I see. Yeah, it was funny. Okay. He grew up to do less funny things, though. Oh, yeah? Yes. Prison time. Uh, it's just he grew up to do less funny things. End of story. Lance that he Stitch. continued to think were funny. Not so much. Society says no. No. Well, he's going to have to get under that ball, and I think he wants to use the 13 to do it. Yeah, Kevin, I agree. You know, they're doing the best they can. Maybe not. Maybe. Well, playing. John, that's very pleasant. I don't know what amount of farting hella is, but apparently it's a lot. Yeah. I, I believe so. Well, good to know. I made a comment about somebody who uh, I was walking behind and they farted the entire <laughs> row of tables. That, yes. You it was phenomenal. Yeah, it was phenomenal. I yes. almost pulled the move when I was going up to the room. It just, I mean, it started with like a pop, a pop, and it was kind of a step-by-step, -step, uh -huh, uh -huh, and uh -huh. I was, I was impressed. So trying to draw back, oh, I like that shot. Got plenty of room to draw into that lower left quadrant of the table, or sorry, follow to that lower left. Lower left for eight in the side. Yep. Yeah, I agree. Very nice. You stated it was a three table line. Oh Crown no, no. master's been listening to you. I, I believe that you were listening, but you may have missed the point of that story. Dude, it was not was three table shot. lengths. This was the the original fart was three table lengths. I'm saying it was it was a trickler or like a rumbler. And and at that point that's when it started going step by step. It went for almost the length of the row. Lance. Nice shot, dude. Lance going up to nothing. Lance up two zero. It's a race to six. Uh, and I am at 56 minutes until Smashburger closes. Or right, do you think you're going to call something in? To Smashburger? Yeah. Nah, you've got, you're, you're misinterpreting my level of give a shit. I'm just talking about it. Uh, if I, I, gotcha. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm probably destined for pastrami cheese sandwich and some Pepsi and a Claussen's pickle. You got the Claussen's yeah, refrigerated pickles. Yeah, definitely. It's a lot of fridge space. It's a great pickle. Yeah. But it's, 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 it's worth it. It's yeah. worth it. Palate cleansing. Are you a whole pickle or a pickle slice? I like spears, spears. but I'll take a half or a whole. Uh huh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah Clausen's a quality pickle. Uh, yeah, yeah, I really like Clausen's. Uh, they're sponsoring our next stream too, so that's cool. That's Brought to you in part cool. by Clausen Pickles. Well, and they they have you doing a song. 
which I thought was nice. Said, well, it's a jingle, but yeah, you called a song. Okay. Do you see that cup over there? That's my cup. I bought it from Dollar Tree. That one right there. And then I filled it up with stuff, and I left it there for two weeks. <laughs> I I have kind of left it. It's kind of like an experiment. I want you to know something here. Uh, there's a garbage band can, and it's 15 feet away from us. I've been smelling it for the last hour and a half. You've been smelling it? Yeah. Just curiosity? Or? No, I'm smell, I can smell it right now. You can, can you not smell can. that garbage can? I think that might be me. No, it's not you. It's, it's not me. It's a garbage right. can, my friend. You know who it's got that garbage can? and you did. This and guy. food. <sighs> yeah, I'm Kevin, you're right six. about that. That diamond is gorgeous. That's the rosewood diamond table. Pretty incredible. Illuminated here by Litman lights. All these tables with Litman lights over them. Well, not anymore. But they had 310 Lippman lights all over everywhere. Mom's texting me. Oh, she's not liking the pickles and fart jokes. Not not going over well with moms. I'm sorry. I can't talk about Montana all the time, Mom. Uh, so Wise River is at the table right now. I can't Are they believe- wrestling? I don't think you should wrestle with a ref. I think it's inappropriate. Yeah. They look like they were about to do some sort of a... A dosy dough with a like a, you know what I'm saying? There's gonna be a dance move. There were there were arms there. interlocked. Oh, right, yeah. that's what I'm saying. I think S- a lot of refs do double ref as square dance callers. Yes, that's true. Yeah, and uh, and auctioneers. These are known facts. No, sold. A lot of a lot of auctions in Montana for sure. Um, yeah, I mean he is in terrific position here. Uh, being up to nothing. Do you think that three ball cuts in the right hand side pocket? Yes. Yes, I think he's straight in on that three ball on the side. Turbo, welcome. Welcome to all you people tuning in out there. We enjoy it. Thanks for thanks for checking it out. Kevin, I agree. Uh, I'm confused by the black, to be honest with you. The rosewood looks so nice. I didn't understand the black. Yeah, it's a sad state of affairs, for sure. It really makes you think of stuff. <laughs> I don't know. You don't want to see Mike's looking or his thinking face. <laughs> My thinking it's, face. It's not his best face. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like it hurts a little. Oh, not... it's, it hurts a lot, buddy. Yeah. Uh, hey Casey, I know you're listening. Uh, 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 yes, that's true. Uh, Daniel has a couple people he's got to talk to 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 break that news to. Uh, if you know Daniel, you might know what I'm talking about. So yeah, that's not not public quite yet. Yeah, yeah. So we deleted your comment, but not out of disrespect, Casey. But and yeah, you're and right, we are Casey, equally excited. And I'd love to be for talking sure. about it. Yeah, I mean seriously, it was a specific request though for right. us to not right. Man, Montana's looking good. You know, the disturbing part of this for me is Thanks, I spend time close to this guy in Montana, and I always say there's no real pool players around here. Where is everybody? And this guy would roll me. Do you get back to Montana much? Uh, I haven't as much lately, but I okay. love going back. Really? Okay. My mom's that's in cool. Dillon, very close to where this guy's at. Oh, okay. That's cool. That's why she, when she was like, Wise River, are you kidding me? It says Butte, Montana on his Fargo. Uh, they they call the Butte Helena metro area. Okay. And Butte okay. and Helena are uh, it's about 130 miles. Okay. okay. Yeah, it's, it's a decent. And in Montana, that's the equivalent of three blocks. Neighbors. Is that right? Yeah. I mean, your neighbors, right? Yeah. 100%. Yeah. In a snowstorm, you'd have a rope from their house to your house. Yeah, with the with this tin can. Is that what you're saying? I don't know. I didn't oh, know. Oh, just, just to can. get. Well, the tin oh, can the for tin can. No, not the talking. No, just to. So, so you don't you get don't lost, get lost in a snowstorm. Isn't that a thing? Totally. Put the rope we from all the house that. to the barn. Yeah. To the barn, right? We have that in our suburban neighborhoods. Yeah. <laughs> totally, Mike D. To the mailbox, as oh, a matter man. of fact. Brutal. That I, is brutal. I got to say, still in pretty good shape. I mean, this is a lot of pressure right here right. for Way. Uh, Turbo, this is Mike D. Mike Deitchman. Summerfield Hapner. How you guys doing? How, uh, I don't not, know how established uh, is, I actually uh, looked at that just a minute ago. It's yeah. very, but again, he's from a very rural part of Montana. He's got 149 games in the system, so I mean, he definitely plays. 
Uh, but yeah, you gotta think his Fargo is going to be increasing quite a bit. Yeah, because it's straight shooter. Uh, 149 is three quarters of the way to uh, fully established. So he's he's he's, he's it's true. Could be worse. Yep. If I can crowd. VNEA is the main league out there. Huh. I'll be darned. And then we have some Montana players that come over to the BCA, to Western BCA. That's a really nice shot. That's uh, a game-winning shot right there because that ball was a problem for him, and he, it, he turned it from a problem to an asset. Totally. Yeah. And now, I mean, if I'm laying something, and if I don't cut this ball in, I'm giving this game away. And the trouble is, I think Lance has a good shot of making this ball. You th about kicking it in, right? Yeah. Yeah, I think, I think Lance could definitely kick it in. SVB is a VNA guy now, huh? I did not know that. I, yeah, I, yeah, I barely know what VNA is. It's an acronym. Vegas National Enforcement Agency. Okay, that makes sense. Look at that shot. Dude, oh good God. speed too, man. Totally. I mean, leaves him treetop for yeah, pretty much anything. Yeah, seriously, that's a really strong shot. Uh, definitely, still an opportunity to play safe. Whatever shot I'm taking, I'm probably leaving him on the far right side of the table. Uh, the window of 40, Kevin. I'm reading your comments. Uh, uh, I, I don't know. I don't know. I've talked to Mike Page extensively. I've, I've never heard him refer to a window. Uh, but anything's possible. My mother is texting me information about Wise River. <laughs> uh, she does publicity for Montana, the whole state. Oh, really? That's cool. It's not true, uh, but it is cool. Um, let's see. The race breakdown of the population in Wise River varies per year, but currently 323 are one race and uh, not applicable or two or more races. Do they mention Lance? Uh, <laughs> believe it or not, no. 300 people, they're like, and one of them has Lance and he likes to buy cool. <laughs> After he wins this match, he's probably going to be on the Wise Noteworthy. River bench. Noteworthy. All right, so way is up. Way has an opportunity to get on the board. It's 2 0. He's totally in this match. Uh, this match is worth a lot of money. It is worth taking a breath and just being like, ah, 2 0, whatever. I'm going to win the next two, and it's going to be 2 2. Totally. You're absolutely right. Um, I don't like the 11 and the 12. Or whatever those two balls are close to each other. If I was away, they would bother me. Yeah. And yeah, I mean, you see that he's still keeping on the side of the he's table. Yeah, staying safe. Yeah. Yeah. So you're saying you'd play one more safe? You don't think you're done playing safe? I think he can afford to go take this ball to the top left hand corner, but I would want to hit it in a way so I have a clear view of the eleven when I'm done, so I can play a safe behind the twelve ball. Gotcha. Now this is actually pretty decent for where the one, the eight ball is. He shot. can pull, he a, he can pull really a combo, well. draw it back just about to where he is, so he doesn't leave a cut if he misses. Yeah, yeah. Or if he's real confident, I mean that's pretty straight. He may just pop this in and leave the cue ball right, right there. Yeah. Because I, I kind of think why not, honestly. Yeah, that's a pretty strong play. And he's trying to make sure he's still safe, and now he's got an easy. This is a big rack. Yes. Going down three nothing, not good. Yeah. When you come back with a confident rack like that, he's right back in the set. Yeah, I'm not sure who's breaking his next, Man. but it's going to really count. Okay. 
very nice that way. Beautiful. And controlled that the whole time. Nice, Never really nice. sold a shot out until yep. he knew. Yep, I mean, exactly. he's not taking any chances. Right. It says, Lance quit for 15 years and viewed as all BCA. Lance is one of the many great pool players from Montana. I believe that. Huh, very interesting. Well, thank you so much. Where does he play out of, out of Butte? Because I'm in Dillon a decent amount, and I would love to come play some pool with these guys. So that the comment that I made about Wise River, um, the residents there are 175 males, 148 females. Median age of the male population is 49.6, and female population is 48. So pro approximately 95 births every year and around 73 deaths. So... That's a population that is not rapidly growing. Pretty wild. That is interesting, Mom. You're totally right. Looks like Way's breaking with a BK2. Regular wrap. Too soon, man. Too soon. BK2. Uh, Yad Weas from California. I really do like the BK2. Uh, me too. I really like it. I gave mine to my son. And now I just sit at home and miss it. You just miss it all the time? Nah, not really, but uh, I do. That's a good break, you. Do you ever call your son and say, actually, I'm calling to talk to the BK? I get to see him. Uh, I get to see it on league night, and I just oh. hold it. You can tell when you give a cue away, though. It's no longer your cue. People take care of cues in very particular ways. Yes, they do. Yeah, yeah that's real. Are you a feral wiper? No. No? Uh -uh. Not even about, every now and then? About every few months. I remember that I should wipe it down. It's a nice shot. And it's it's been a long time since I have. Yeah, that was a nice shot. Heck of a solid break. Unfortunately, slipped in that side pocket. Yeah. Plays at the Party Palace in Silver Bowl Athletic Club. Oh, he's got a diamond at his place. There you go. Well, Lance, I will be awaiting an invitation to that diamond when I come to town. That is pretty cool. He's got a diamond on all of Yeah. Well, Mary and Kevin, thank you very much for the information. Pretty cool to see a Montana player in here. And, man... You know what I've noticed about Montana pool players? I'll bet you money this guy's a hunter. Yeah. And yeah. per capita, yeah. I guess that's there's a lot of hunters. Yeah, there. that makes sense. That being said, there's something about aiming mm -hmm. that people really enjoy. And this is, I guess in Montana, you got a lot of free time that you can spend on, on a pool table. I, I mean, that was a weather-related comment. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah you, you got a whole lot of winter. Yeah, no kidding. That's as soon as the sun starts shining out Mon or in Eugene... I definitely spend a lot less time at the pool table. Party Palace View, Montana. That's awesome. Hushing, hunting and fishing guide. Oh, that's cool. I believe it. And a pool player. That's right. Nice. It's going to be a pool player with a far higher Fargo. Did all our coworkers leave somewhere? Yeah. Yeah, it's just us and the refs. You know what that means. We can leave too. I don't think anyone would know any any different. I'm not going to. No, I'm just saying. I know. That, that's that's why Rick hires us because he doesn't have to make any kind of decisions or demands or schedules. Yeah. You and I just guilt ourselves into doing stuff. All right. We'll be here at nine. <laughs> you guys have to be here at nine. Nine's early. We'll be here at nine. I'm gonna be there. You guys can be done for the night. No, there's another gold streaming. I'll just turn it on. <laughs> I'll just turn it on. Well, I'll commentate and then for I a while. commentate the next three hours. Yeah. 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 Um, but yeah, I guess that's one of the things I was saying is we don't have to be here, but we still are. We yeah. we want to be here. Yeah, we like yep. being here. Yep. Uh, I'll go ahead and speak for you. It's exactly the same at Derby. Same thing uh -huh. at Derby, where he says, "Oh, it's okay." And you're like, "I think Sky Woodward is playing Josh Roberts." No, we're gonna go I ahead might and stick record around that. For that. And yeah, and he's like, "Oh, it's okay. You guys, you've been here a long time." It is interesting that I mean, it's it's really hard to not just get a little bit jaded and maybe not jaded, just not quite as enchanted with the pros and with how, how incredible it is. Is there a train passing? 
No, that's a cart, an electric cart. Okay, it's going. It sounded a little more high pitched, like a whistle. Um, but yeah, every now and then you see them really be like, you know, this is awesome. Whereas I think you and I are a little more like, holy shit, that's awesome. Yes, right, right. This guy's about to play Josh Roberts. Yes, exactly. When that's like nine matches per round. Right, right. Are, exactly. are that cool. Exactly. Joel's about to play Everett. Oh, my God, that's awesome. Uh, I agree, Kevin. It's nice. There's a lot of camaraderie. Uh, I find that that's an interesting aspect of the pool community is uh, it's tight-knit, and I think it's because of that love of pool. Yeah, it's just a, a group of people where pool clicks in their mind, and there's just a similarity we all have. Yeah. Who's Clay talking about? Uh, Lance. Oh, okay. Clay, did he really he beat JD, Jeff Bouchard, Bouchard, Sean Lewis, and Damian Pompatic in the same singles tournament? My lord! And he's a five forty six. It's uh We always say that. I mean. Fargo's catching up with it. Weren't you saying that? It's catching up with it, not not following the curve. Hey, Clay, if you give me a chance, uh, send me a message about that, man. <laughs> Mike just turned on a different face. Yeah, Clay knows what I'm talking about. Yeah, then I want to know about that. How many games of that 149 games was that? Sorry to say. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, but that's, I mean, it's a moving target. We're always going to be catching up, and you can't take anything away from these players because everybody works hard to get where they are. Yeah, seriously. And, I mean, this kid is a kid. Uh, this guy is a phenomenal pool player. Get that shot. Uh, I can tell Way plays good, too. Yeah. Oh, totally. Yeah, the way he picked out that last rack was yeah, awesome. Yeah, plays good, too. Whoa. Oh, yeah. We got Kevin Co uh, Kovacs Pool Promotions. I think it's good to remember stuff like that and to talk about it. So I'm glad you're mentioning that. I think, uh, I think that's important. He does shoot like someone who shoots on a diamond a lot. Yeah. Very comfortable with yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, having a diamond at home is a huge, huge advantage. I mean, I just, it's a huge. You were talking about what you do to play. It sounds like you, you throw them out. You throw out nine balls. You try and play 10 racks, and you try and do that every day. 20 racks. 20 racks. And actually, it's more like 22. Yeah, I try and hit, I hit 200, 200, 200 balls. balls a day. That's right. Uh, the easiest, quickest way to achieve that, if we get the score, is to uh, to just set nine balls on the table apart nothing locked up nothing crazy hard uh -huh. and give herself ball in hand and run them out yeah and as easy on the one hand that that sounds i mean okay then do it you know and yeah then, and then do it 20 times 22 times and you've hit 200 balls in a day it's relatively quick it doesn't take much more than an hour uh -huh. uh, and it's worth doing it's a good way to connect with the table and that makes sense stroke and uh i think it's important to practice other aspects of your game don't get me wrong but i do forget i think people forget that uh just making balls and moving the balls around the table. That's what you fell in love with in the first place. That's why we talk about straight pool and how yep. I find that infuriating. And then, therefore, I don't practice it very much. Totally, because you're well, not looking that, forward to that. What I'm describing at my practice routine, that's exactly what I used to do when I was 15. And I'd go into the pool hall, and they'd give me the balls, and I was by myself. I'd be like, well, I'm just going to set all these balls out, spaced out, yep. know, take ball in hand. I'm going to try and make them all without missing. That was a thrill to me to try and do that. Yeah, you know? that just, totally makes sense. Uh, another practice routine uh, from who was Dave Randall. Dave Randall said the most important thing you can do for your game because to me, I mean, how many times have you gone out nice there, break. played perfect at first? Yeah. Controlled that, ended up on the head rail, but you got a funky little cluster yeah. down the lower left, but still nice. All right. Back to Dave Randall. Dave said, break the pool balls. It's a concentration thing. So you break the pool balls right after you break the pool balls. Run them all. See if you can, you get ball in hand after mm -hmm. you break. Mm -hmm. See if you can run all of them. It doesn't matter which one you shoot first, anything like that. Try and do 10 racks in a row where you don't miss a ball. And I don't think I've done it yet, but I, I mean, I run a lot of balls and yeah. it definitely shows yeah. me. I mean, at first I'm making a lot of balls and after right. a little while I start to kind of lose concentration. I'm like, all right, what am I really doing here? Right, right. Yeah. Concentration's a huge part of yeah. it. Yeah. 
Oh, it is a huge part of it. What is your longest pool session? My longest pool session. Um, oh, he got it coming out. I was wondering if that had happened. I saw him lining up that safe. I would say probably 10 hours. Some around there. Um, I've had some one pockets, uh, one pocket uh, action that was close to 10 hours. And then when I was younger and used to gamble a lot, and this is a sad story, but uh, when you gamble against people who don't have the money to pay you, they don't like to quit. And because the, when they quit, they're going to have to tell you they don't have the money. So those are the people who will play you for 12 hours. So a lot yeah. of the stories I have that involve playing for 10 hours also involve someone who, who had forgotten their wallet or who there was some sort of a financial issue later. No one wants to play 12 hours. And the guy had quit, you'd pay you if he had the money. He don't have the money. Yeah. That's that's not always true, but in my experience, a lot of I don't of know times, that no one wants to play 12 hours. That's true. You're right. In the 80s, there used to be a lot of marathon pool. Marathon yeah. pool was very popular. Yeah. Uh, one, of, one of my dear friends, Joel Peck, uh, yes. loves marathon pool. And that's kind of what he wants to do. He's gone to Lincoln City. He's kind of been figuring out what his niche is and what he likes to do. And what he wants to do is play the best player that he possibly can for a long period of time. He knows how he wants to play him. And he usually struggles oh, for a little bit, shot. but he usually finds the action he's looking for. Really? Bank pool is one of his the games he's more interested in. He put together a, a really awesome tournament last year. Yes, he did. Bank yes, ring he game. Did. Yes, he did. And look forward to see what he can put together someday. Yes. I still can't believe there's no Lincoln City. Like I none of this either. is settled in. I Being know, in this know, casino seriously. is very yeah, surreal. Just wait. Yeah, yeah, no, I agree. So, are you going to try and hit four hundred balls a day? You had a break now. I have, well. My life, I've got two nine-year-old daughters who yeah. are not going to go to school until April 28th, and uh, I have some obligations to helping with their care needs, mm -hmm. or my wife will murder me. So, if, yeah, yeah I, probably not. Probably not. I'll play more pool than usual, probably, but uh, I, I, I got to keep those girls busy, too. That's a long time without school, and we're going to have to figure out some stuff to keep them busy, and without being able to go anywhere. Yeah. Uh, there's projects on on where I live uh, that I would like to do and that I think she can help with. Uh, and yeah, there's uh it's good to go outside. Uh, we have a neighbor. Uh, Did you really just play, play that play shot? With. That was crazy. I want to see it again. I even saw the replay and I want to see it again. So it looks like that three ball is just totally, totally wired. Oh, or, totally. Sorry. Yeah, I, I don't know what happened. Oh, I guess it's the 13. So it looks like he banks that ball, but the cue ball beats him to it. Uh, Victor, that's really interesting. Uh, so the, the one with the red and the yellow balls, that is the six-foot table. Uh, Victor, is that what you're talking about when you say uh, the English tables? Or are you talking about snooker? I think you guys call it black ball. But he's at the table, so I mean... Wow. And he did. He banked into that he, combo. He, oh, wow. Okay. Wow. What a shot, man. That's pretty strong. You were around that crazy. Yeah, seriously. Wow. Well, we had to, too, because we didn't, you know, you didn't understand what had happened. I kind of like playing straight into the 14 and sitting the cue ball right there and keeping the 14 around. Oh, that's cool. It sounds like uh, Mary uh, Garcia could play, too. Uh, 2014, she took second in state. And I sure like Calcutta's. We need more Calcutta's. Uh, that's a pretty good shot. Yes, it is. I like it. Yeah, Calcutta's a great way to make a little money. It's also a great way to lose a lot of money. Um, it's a good way to add money to a division that otherwise isn't getting enough money put in or a tournament. Yeah, it's kind of like sponsoring players. Yeah, it is sponsoring players, yeah. Yes, yeah. it is. I know, I go into the Calcutta, and I'm like, you know what I'm good for? Good for about 200 bucks. I think that's what I told Joel last time. Yeah. And at the end of it, he had spent probably like 1200 bucks, and I was like, well, yeah, I, I want in. I want in on that for sure. And he was super sweet and totally let me in on the action, and we ended up doing pretty well, and I think there was a piece of him that was kind of like, ah, did, didn't need to, but 
yeah. He's he's awesome. Uh, good to know, Alex. Thank you. Respect, Mary. Mary, good player to Butte as well. Man, I'm gonna have to make it to the to that place. Regular pool, but in an English pool table, not on a snooker table. Regular pool. Yeah, I got you. I got you. Okay, I got you. Yeah. So that English pool table, that's a six foot table. Is that correct, Victor? Let's start with there. Uh, Americans are the least worldly people you're ever going to meet. So I'm, I'm trying, Victor. This is the best I can do. I have YouTube. That's all I got. No, England. That's in Europe. Right? That's right. Exactly. It's like Hawaii of Europe. Beatles? Here's the four things you know, I the, know about your country. You know the Beatles, man? Right, right, yeah. Yeah. Sorry, bro. Six foot table, smaller balls. Really? Oh, that's cool, Alex. Six foot table and smaller balls. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking too, Kevin. And I thought they were red and yellow with the black ball as the eight ball. Uh, and no numbers. Black ball. Black ball. Black black ball. They call it black ball, which is way cooler than what we call it. Pool. It's true. Pool. We'll place pool. We'll place black ball. Billiards is way cooler than pool, too. That's pool true. is like the pop of soda. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Uh, how many times have we said pool and somebody else said cool? Quite a few. They're trying to cool it up because it's just not cool. Pool's very cool. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, okay. that's a good shot, Way. Like yeah, perfect Wei is, speed. Way is still in this, by the way. I mean, it's still, he's at 2 3. 100%. As much as we've seen Lance at the table, uh, Way keeps getting a turn. And you know winning. the difference? Breaks. I like golf on, scratch on the table. Break is... uh, not with regular pool balls, though, Crap Master, but I do love playing some golf on the circuit table. Totally. A Russian pyramid. No. Sounds dirty. Yeah, the tables are a little tougher, aren't they, Victor? They're, yeah. A little roundier. So proud of Candace. I'm not sure she must have won her division. That's exciting. We didn't have nearly as many females playing today. I'm bummed out. Got to do one match earlier, and that was fun. Oh, really? Yep. Nice. I just keep thinking about the match that I got to commentate where there was a, a female, and I kept thinking, oh, she has really pretty hair. Uh -huh. And then I kept thinking, yeah, don't say that. Because people won't know that you yourself are just an appreciator of hair. You're a I cultivator and hair. appreciator. Yeah, she, yeah. Pretty, she had pretty hair. I bet it was a pretty sexist thing to, to think, say, that it was I'm commentating her match. You're you're right. You were right to not say something. Thank you. I appreciate that. But uh, I don't know. I, I don't. I don't know that it's sexist. I don't know that it it couldn't come across that way. But if I were to say that, Mike D, it's pretty hair. You know, it I'm, is. I'm, I'm going to say I'm it. Like I'm going to go out on a limb. Thanks, you got bro. pretty hair. Thanks, bro. Do you straighten? I do not straighten. No, don't straighten. No, I don't straighten. Yeah, naturally. This is me, bud. Do you feel like Stan Tarango is challenged by your ponytail? Do you feel like there's, is there a camaraderie or is it a? I want to say super challenged, but no, I don't think he's challenged. No, there's not a camaraderie. It's neither one of those things. No, neither one of those things. Just wrong vein altogether. Just oh, what? The wrong vein altogether. Just the wrong vein altogether. I miss yes, it. Yes, okay. Yes, yeah. uh, Stan Tarango in many ways is my pool idol uh, from the Pacific Northwest. Is he? Well, from the Pacific Northwest, yeah, he's totally. definitely somebody I've gotten to play a lot. And, mm -hmm. uh, he'd be in the same realm as like a Glenn Atwell, somebody that I agree. A part of my, I'd have to give a part of credit for my game to Glenn Atwell because I came up playing Glenn Atwell uh -huh. three times a week in bar tournaments because that's all he did was wow. play bar tournaments five to seven days a week. He yeah. was always there, and so you got to play Glenn. We hated it at the time because it yeah. meant you were getting second or third. You were never going to get first. But yeah. same that I got to play Glenn every week. And often two or three times a week, wow. literally. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and Stan is a similar story. I go to these big tournaments in the Pacific Northwest and get to the finals, and it's it's me and Stan battling it out. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's tough action. Yes, yeah. he is. And I get to play Stan. A hell of a ponytail. Hell of a ponytail. Now your turn. Yeah. Go ahead. Uh, it, my story is way worse than yours. I get to play Stan. Um, I played him a couple times in tournaments, but okay. I get to play him one pocket in Eugene. He was there for... Little period of time, didn't have anybody to play him. I was playing him cheap, one pocket. He ended okay. up adjusting, and eventually he he was giving me eight seven on my break, and nine seven on his break, 
and then he was just giving me eight seven in the breaks and he told me at the end he's like i can't give you the breaks anymore and i was like that's awesome i was like that's kind of an achievement for me and then two days later i'd only lost i'd probably lost like a 100 bucks it was very little Mm -hmm. and he was like you know what you need to do you need to go to china need to go to china and play some eight ball he's like 100 percent. and i was like stan we spent some time together but i mean i i know i didn't lose quite as much as you probably hope but i feel like you're throwing me to the wolves and he's like nope he's like you ever want to do anything with pool chinese eight ball that's what you do he's, and i'm like yeah but they're gonna murder me and he's like yeah 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 for sure and he's like it doesn't matter yeah because over there you're a superhero you're an american pool player and that's what they want they they want to be able to beat up on Really? On those guys, but it's going to hone your game like nothing else in the world. And I was like, man, I kind of feel like I'm getting a huge compliment from you. I'm certain it wasn't intended <laughs> right, that way. Right, right. That. It was more just like, you should do this. Give that a whirl. Instead of playing <laughs> me one pocket and getting right, spotted. Right, and right, right. So that was cool. Uh, Stan's be always been. A break, huh? I think so. That means you are too. Well, my ears hurt. Yeah, I don't blame you. Me too. All right, we're back, and while we're talking about breaks, I don't know how you feel, but I think that was a really smart break. I think Way uh, got back to 2-3. I don't think he's worried about momentum. He's not just like, ah, I need to jump on this momentum. He knows that he plays. He just wants to have a little reset, come back to the table. Right. Yep, no, I agree. Either that or he wasn't the one taking the break. It was Lance. Yep. And uh, was trying. A Kovacs pool promotions I play at my house. Where do you play pool at, Summer? I play primarily at our shop. It's called The Shop. If you know where the Prairie Schooner is in Eugene, it's uh, really close to that. We have a storage shed. we got three bar box diamonds, one full size, and we play out of there. Uh, other than that, I play at Lucky's. I play league eight. I try to play eight nights a year of league. That's my goal. I usually play a little more than that. Okay. I think I play ten this session. That's going to roll me over to the next round. There's a little bit of me that's like, gosh darn it, I'm bummed I had to play all that league. I yeah. did, like I'm not getting the payout that, right? Because to me the payout is getting to play the tournament. That being said, I also there's two players that jumped on our team that wouldn't have been on a team had I not said, hey, I'm going to throw a team together. Both of them are terrific pool players, and I'm glad they're friends of mine. Okay, that's cool. Uh, my mom's checking in, wondering why the game stopped. They took a little break, mom. Uh, you are up awfully late. It's eleven thirty-five, twelve thirty-five in Montana. You <laughs> My dad watches these, dude. My he's staying up watches, too. I don't know if he's watching now, but he watches all these. He will watch these later, if nothing else. He will. Yeah. He will sit at home and he will watch every one of these. That's awesome. He watches all the derby ones. I should have tagged you in there. That way, you could find them easier. Right. I used to be like, oh, I want to be able to find those, and I. Uh, yeah, there's no way I could go through all the content of stuff that we've commentated. Right. It is, it's weird to find to have my name pop up or just hear my voice. I'm like, oh, well, I commentated this. Right, match. exactly. Yes. No, I'll have to, seriously. Anyway, Mom, I'm glad you're watching. I, it's, I look forward to hearing your voice, too. I love you. I hope you're feeling better. You stay safe. Turbo, matter of fact, I am from Montana. Um, yeah, 
I miss it. I moved out here or out to Eugene, Oregon in 96 with my mom. She moved back to Montana. Uh, I've been in Eugene ever since. There's certain times in my life that I've subscribed to the Mike D policy. And I'm not doing anything. <laughs> Cannot do nothing. Way to be. It's a nice shot. Oh, he ran a little short. So you think the 6-4 combo's in, or what's his plan? I got to think this guy's got a plan. He's been playing good. Hmm. Do you think he... Uh, I don't think he overran it. He wasn't trying to play the 6 off the 1. I think he was trying to get straight on the 1 or the 2 to try and roll over and nudge the 6. Yes, uh, Josh, to answer your question, this is the first set. California Billiards in Fremont, man, huge shout out to those guys. That's a really cool room. I was really bummed when my aunt and uncle moved from there because I had a place that was one exit away. And when I'd go down to visit them, I would go there. Oh, that's cool. It is. Uh, yes, Josh, this is the first set. Thank you, Ed. Appreciate that. Uh, who is on the winner side? Who I'm looking at that right now. Double <laughs> dip. I, I thought I thought I knew that. I assumed that it was Lance, but I don't think it is. I think Way went straight through. Ah, uh, because yeah, I think you're right. Cause Way Lane, went straight through. Lance was playing. Yeah. Wowzers. <laughs> Mike D just had a moment of acceptance, and we got a match on our hands. We really do. So Lance is taking an extra short look or extra long look. Does he have new glasses on? I don't think he was wearing glasses earlier. Are those glasses? Interesting strategy. Now are I'm those performance? Be able to see. <laughs> oh, oh, he had to put those on and look. Interesting. How insulting to your opponent. <laughs> All right, on this one, I want to really see what's going on. Let me use these glasses. I don't, I don't normally need For these. up till now, I wasn't really that worried about it. Let me, let me take a look. <laughs> I usually just feel. <laughs> it's interesting you put it like that because I do think that's actually a thing. I think that there there's some things that you can do that you make look easy that your opponent's just like, what right, the? Right, exactly. Oh, you're just being a, when you're not just being a two down to the seven? Using the seven to hit the six. Oh, okay. I like that plan. Yep. Uh, this is still no gimme. I mean, you got a great line on it, but it's really easy to clip that one. Uh, and I agree, Kevin, about Boosty with the glasses. Yeah, totally. He is just quite the quite the player and quite the competitor. Yep, Shane will Shane will definitely rock the tune and everything out. Yeah, I, yeah, does it well. The bad, the unfortunate thing about hitting the six ball is it's going to clip the eight and it's going to be going right at that thirteen. Yeah, you actually have to. It's pretty hard too to get and it. You got to worry about making make the eight ball. ball. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I mean, now you still got a problem. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. I kind of like banking this four ball up and all he's got. laying it up by the 11. I don't yeah. think it's probably going to go, yeah, but. Yeah. No, I agree with you. Block Get it in front of the 11, try and block the pocket. Yeah. yeah. Do you ever think about that? Like John Graves is talking about meeting Django in the, in the 90s. Mm -hmm. I'm not. I've proved that I'm not a mathematician, not a color guy, mm -hmm. but. 90s was 30 years ago. Wow. Yeah. Can you imagine playing that level of pool for 30 years? For that years? long. No. No, I can't. Pretty incredible. Yeah, it is. He's got room to cut that. Oh, wow. He may have had room to cut oh, that. Oh, man. He had shape on the six ball, too. Uh, that was that was a big one. Yes, it was. All right. So uh, now it's time for Way to step up. And stop himself from getting double dipped. Yeah. All right. Um, 
he doesn't really have a choice. His starting ball is going to be the 11. Don't you think? Uh, yeah. I mean, I guess you can cut that 9 ball and take the 13 next, but yeah. why? Uh, the 13 is creating a problem for the 6. You have an easy way down with the 14. So, yeah, uh, the 11 probably float back over for the 15. Yeah, 11, maybe 15 on the side. Unless you want to stroke that ball a little harder. Yeah. Came to your pool room and broke everyone for about a moment. You go up to Sacramento. Sacramento was. Huh. About 94. I'll bet those were really fun times. How are you, like, do you think anybody can ever bust you in pool? That's something that I've realized about myself is I like to gamble. I like to play pool, but I know I'll never get busted because I'm not, and, and I should knock on wood there, but I'm not ever going to bet bust. And that maybe that's just, I'm, I'm not that committed, but I, I'm never going to be like, you know what I'm going to do. I, yes, I can. I can. Everything. Busted is a whole different thing, though, as far as like not being able to pay your rent or something. I've yeah. lost more money than I want to lose, and that I should have oh, lost. For sure. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. uh, I, you know, when they say you got your their nose open or whatever, I've definitely been in a position where I thought, oh yeah, oh, I will every dime in my pocket. This guy's going to take before I quit. Rack yeah. him up, buddy. Huh. I've definitely thought that before. What Rack brings them. that out of you? Uh, when that a guy you think keeps you're winning, and, and I think I should win. Interesting. And I think it's a matter of time. And I think, oh, that 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 bank combo was great, but I don't think you can do that again. Yeah. Let's keep doing this because yeah, I think we're again. soon going to run out of of those little lucky shots. You know, I think if I ever beat you out of money, I think I will inspire that in you. <laughs> I think I'll be one of those players <laughs> that got on it. You'll be like, yeah, rack them, totally. Uh, Casey, I don't, I don't know that Raj stopped playing pool, but um, I know he's been going through a hard time. We all sending our love out to him and hoping that, hoping that things get better for him soon. Hard times on everybody, but I think, I think he's going through it. Uh, he's still Casey. He's still playing pool, uh, but I'm not sure he's getting out about to play pool. But he's still hitting some balls. Good. Because you, you and Roger friends, pretty close. Rogers, yeah, Rogers, uh, one of my brothers. He's one of my people. I know he's always somebody that you, he looked up to. You're always someone he looked up to a lot. Yeah. Oh man. Yeah, that's, that's unfortunate. Want, want the best for him. Yeah, of course, Casey. Oh man, the serial lawsuit guy. Uh, I saw I you mentioned joining the queue up there. Yeah, yeah, I know he's talking about. Oh, that. yeah. How devastating is that? It's pretty brutal, dude. Man, brutal. It, and it seems like they were trying to find another place. I got on this after I heard the story. I got on this uh, Facebook page, the Friends of the Joined Queue. Yeah, and like what it's a real tragic it's a thing. story. Yeah, it's a real thing. Yeah. yeah, brutal. Yeah, it's too bad. Casey played with Raj in five states. That's awesome. Wow. He definitely did some traveling. Yeah. yeah. Uh, he was one of the, when he came back from Arizona, that was one of the first times that I really realized uh, Arizona's serious. Like, yeah. I was wondered yeah. about, right. I mean, pool scenes and how different right. they were right. and everything. Right. But, uh, yeah, like, Br Gus Braseno was here. And watching Gus, mm -hmm. uh, forget who he was even with. I, th I think he might have been even with Shane in the tournament. And I was like, yeah, this guy's good. Yeah, uh, I played right, him right. opening round of the U.S. Open Bank Pool Championship, and I didn't win. Um, he handily beat right, me. Right, right, right. And right, it right. wasn't because I didn't play well. Yeah. Um, I, I, I probably didn't play as well as I could, but he just mopped the floor with me. He yeah. was unconcerned at any point. Triple combo, huh? Hey, sometimes, you know, you got to pull the triple combo. Uh, 11 minutes. I think you should go. Can you make oh, it? Oh, no. Oh, no. The dream has died. The dream is all good. I'll bet there's a cart out there you could take. <laughs> I haven't driven one of those carts. I guess I did. I knocked a table over. I drove a cart. Did you really drive a cart? Yeah. yeah I have not. Well, you, you kind of missed Caitlin's tournament. 
Was did did Caitlin have a kart driving tournament? Negative pool tournament. Oh, you really? You would think kart driving tournament. Yeah. Really? No, she had a pool tournament? It's that's the so first cute. annual, seventh annual Haitlin uh, <laughs> tournament, and that's I think it's going to happen every year. It was a lot of fun. Caitlin is so nice. Is she, is she sweet? She's, she's so very, nice. very sweet. Seriously. They don't call her Haitlin for nothing. <laughs> um, she is very sweet until until the Haitlin comes out. Okay. And when the right. Haitlin comes out, it's amazing. All right. She is hilarious and very sweet as is her partner as is her daughter yes yeah calvin seems really nice yeah totally uh, they sure are good parents man it it shows they take care of her. they really take good care of her they watch her like a hawk yeah that's what you got to do in vegas yeah john and ray that is that's that's real that's what happens I saw quite a few kids, man. I love that. Just, I mean, these little kids shooting sidearm, yeah, cruising yeah, around with jerseys yeah, down to their yeah, knees. Yeah, oh, it's cute, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Uh, one of those little creeps could roll, man. Yeah. He was shooting strong. Yep, I believe it. All right, Way should, he's got a good odds of getting out here. He's got to find a solution for the 11 and the 14. I thought he was going to use the 15 to get under him. But you kind of want to take the 10 now. You're on it. Yeah. So uh, just drawn boy, back to get in the same nice situation. Shape for getting behind the <gasps> the fourteen or the eleven. And if he's right there, are you drawn to the right side rail and then taking those two in the up, uh, lower right hand corner pocket? Yes. I'm yes hoping to get the fourteen in the side and the eleven in the corner. Some version of that. Troutmaster, it sounds like you're doing your homework there. Um, if you're talking to me, we have not had Ween play at our place. We did have a really killer Ween cover band. Uh, they, it is Brown Stallion. They are Brown Stallion, and they are phenomenal. They are playing a phenomenal festival this year, first annual, seventh annual, uh, Mushroom fe uh, yeah, Festival from Hell. So look forward to that. Left himself a little less of an angle. Get over there. Oh my gosh, look at that shot. Perfect speed. Holy cow. All right, so I think he's probably drawn back to the right side rail and back out for the 14 in the same, uh, same pocket. Yep, it's pretty cool. Crowd, if you're a Ween fan, one of the, the whole reason that I met this tournament <laughs> is I uh, messaged Rick, and I was like, you know, Rick, I, I may need to be in Vegas the 19th, 20th, and 21st, and I just realized that it overlaps with the tournament. Do you need any help? Didn't hear back for a, lot, a while, and when I finally did, he's like, why don't you just come for the whole event? We work stuff out, um, and that's why I'm here, and the reason I was coming wasn't a business meeting. It was because Ween was playing the Hollywood Bowl. Uh, unfortunately, that was canceled before any of this other stuff. So I missed an opportunity to see three nights a ween, but man, you really would have hated me then when I skipped out on the last three nights of teams to go to a ween show. I'm, I'm a, Is a ween throw, th it's three nights long? Three nights, it would have been 19, 20, and 21st. And what is ween? What is ween? They're a band. I, I, think, I think I can introduce you. I think you'll like them. Uh, Ween was actually on a bill with Wu Tang, uh, okay, not okay, not too okay, long ago. Okay. Would you have gone to three shows? It's it's, it's the same yeah. show three times. No, definitely not. Wow, wowzers! Nice shot. I I don't. Can we go back? Will you rewatch this with me? Oh yeah. Why is he not clipping this ball coming off the side rail and back out? Why is he not clipping the thirteen? Does he have more of an angle coming down table? Is that why? Doesn't it look like he can nip draw into the right side rail and back over the 14? Yes. Uh, no, he comes up. Cue ball comes up if he does that. Oh, brutal way. Oh, that's too bad, my friend. He tried the bank. Sorry, I'm watching the replay. I'll get off the replay. He made the choice he made. He made a killer back cut. Yeah. Yeah, cue ball comes this way. If he makes the 11. And then the 8's blocking the pocket. Doesn't, huh, 14 doesn't go by the one. Uh, 
Okay. Uh, then he, he, then he tries the, the bank. bank on the 11. Yeah, exactly. Gotcha. Brutal. That is indeed brutal. Heartbreaking. And that brings Lance to the table. Lance is in a pretty good position here. I mean, the way he's shooting, you got to yeah, think he's out. Easy. Yeah, exactly. Where do you start here? Four ball? Yeah, four with a left handed miss for the six. I think I might go four one. Because I'd like to stop there and take the six over to the left side. Yeah. You know what he did? Your idea. Do you like your idea? I like my idea. Everybody's real proud of you, Mike. Yeah, fun. He's real proud of me. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah. Yes. Yes. All the people are really proud of you. Whole family. It's been a good day. Dad, brother. Been it's pretty day. cool. Been Three d generations of Deichmann, all pool players. Yeah, that's neat, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, my have son, you, my dad, myself, yeah. Have you ever named your pool team with the two of them, the three Gs? The, well, the th we, we were named 3D. 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 Huh. Yeah. That's better. Yeah, it makes more sense. Yeah. Three Deichmanns. Just thinking three generations. Three gen but yeah, three generations, yeah. I think we did 3GD one year, but after that, we've just switched to 3D. 3D. And I want to get shirts made with the glasses. 3D is pretty good. Yeah, the red and blue. Mm -hmm. uh, our friends just made a ween shirt, interestingly enough, with the Boognish. The Boognish is that, uh, I'll show it to you. Um, and they did it like the overlapping 3D colors, so if, that if you look at it in 3D glasses, it looks 3D. The Boognish? The Boognish. Hail Boognish. Yeah, we're we're gonna learn a lot. My mom used to call me Boobala. Boogala? Boobala. 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 I feel like that's what part of Europe is she from? Eastern Europe. Uh, it's a Jewish thing. It's a Jewish okay. thing. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Which is close though. I like it. Boobala. Boobala. Uh, yes, Rick Jones. Thank you for streaming. But she never said hail. Hail. Hail, Boobala. <laughs> You they know, don't go together. Oh man, yeah, that's something. I guess I do say "Hail Bugnesh," and that's something I've literally never thought before. <laughs> okay, that's my my ignorance shining through. I apologize. Okay, well there you go. Yeah, so I'll rethink my life. Three minutes. Uh, but my, <laughs> there's no way you're gonna make it. It's not happening. Three, two, one. Were the you good here thing for me is doing? Go. Tomorrow there will be no restaurants to be had anywhere. Yeah, you're not going to miss out in on America. <laughs> so you know, that's pretty cool. I I feel like you said the good thing. The, the did good I say thing? the good thing? I is? think you did. I was yeah. being sarcastic. <laughs> okay, trust me. I'm taking sandwiches on my plane tomorrow. I'm heading for the airport, rolling in pastrami cheese sandwiches. You're going to be the guy, just in case something huh. goes wrong. And you're you're at max capacity weight wise. Like how I'm asking that question yes, again. Plus I brought plus I got a jacket and a sweatshirt and a t shirt while I was mm. here, which all weigh things. Have they you thought about something. wearing all of those things? Yeah. Several layers. Yeah. Yeah. It's gonna be I pouring think, I sweat. Just, some of, I think about lots of stuff. <laughs> you're not just counting all the time. Uh, not just counting all the time. Uh I believe that I was at 48 pounds coming here. I don't think I bought more than two pounds worth of clothes. Oh, so I'll take that bet for I, sure. Really? Yeah. Shit. Oh, man, that embroidery? For sure that adds that up. Embroidery, a lot of string going on there. Yeah. Uh, I am flying back on Southwest, though. Uh, that's right, Casey. Yeah, pastrami wrapped in it. Yeah, exactly. I didn't see that. Rick, thank you very much. Great job to you guys, too. Uh, Oh, thanks, the job Rick. that you have all done weathering the storm has been pretty phenomenal. Still putting on a really incredible yeah. event. Yeah, seriously. Uh, the fact that we're still playing pool right now when the world is shut down. We don't have restaurants or the NBA, but right. what's surviving? Right. PCA pool. Pool. Here pool. we are. Pool. Bad boys uh, surviving through it all. So it's thank inspiring. you for the opportunity. Yeah. Uh, thank you for not chaining us to this chair and allowing us to make this decision for ourselves. That's right. Yeah. Here we are. Hey, it is what it is. It's the end of the tournament. This, yes, this it is. Important. Southwest, everyone repeat after me. Bags fly free. Yeah, this. Yeah, see, I flew here, Kevin. I flew here on 
oh god frontier and it was 50 bucks no no that's not true i you buy your bags on the internet and i think it was 30 40 dollars to have up to 50 pounds Mm -hmm. Uh, and then i can bring a personal item kind of a deal flying back i'm on southwest i get to check two bags but i just figured that out the other day and i only have one bag that's how i'm rolling Yeah, I agree. I agree. Yeah, you know, the time that he takes on shots like those are really, really important. And I've seen him get out of a couple of racks that I think a lot of people could have gotten in trouble. Yeah. Just that extra moment of like, you know, that's not my favorite way to go, but this is how I'm going to get out. Oh, he got treetop by that. Now, where yeah. do you think he was planning on making the nine ball if he had, if he wasn't yeah. treetop? Is he going nine in the side or eight in the side? I, I think so. And, and it's true. <laughs> Thanks, Rick Jones. 67th birthday here at the tournament, Mike D. <laughs> we, we had a little argument about how old you were. Oh, you son of a guz. We said you didn't look a day over 65. Oh, thanks. I appreciate that. I don't that. think that. I think I said 55. I, I, that's very sweet. You 49. Really nice. 49, 49 years old. I'm 49 years old. But 49 yes. years young. Yeah, I have gray hair like a 69 year old, though, so thanks. I feel a little kidnapped right now because I've been commenting as Rick Jones all day, and all of a sudden the real Rick Jones steps in and comments as himself. And he's there, he's got something to say, right? I haven't taken advantage of that, but I've definitely thought about it. Dude, nice shooting, bro. Whoa. Whoa. That was strong, Lance. Yeah, to know that speed. I mean, he's going dead pocket. Dead center of that pocket. 5-2. Um... Race to six. He's on the last yeah. game. Yeah. Come on, Way. Holy cow. Mike D's on his feet here in the booth. I am. Well, I'm getting ready. I want to get out there soon and talk to these guys about the split. Yeah. So, Mike D, please, anybody out there that wants in on this action, let me know. But Mike D and I are planning on offering 20 bucks a piece for these guys to take the split. Each of them would get $20, $20. to be clear. On I top mean, of an already large check, that's $3,200 versus... It, with the, the $20 check. I'm giving them and another 7 bucks, they can go to Smashburger. Yeah. Um, I think I have a beer back in my room. I donate the beer. $7. $20 and a beer. I have probably a pound and a half of turkey. Uh, Do you was, really? Yeah. I have quite a bit of lunch meat. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, pretty pleased. Thank That's you. so proud, but modest. <laughs> like, I don't want to brag. I don't want to make a big deal out of it. Don't tell anybody. But yeah. the thing is, I don't want to talk I have about quite this a bit of lunch meat. Roll it. I thought it was going to be here more than four days. days. Yes. That is the other thing that, I mean, after Derby City Classic, it, it's such interesting timing because I feel like I learned a lot of survival skills of being isolated in a, in a casino in Southern Illinois because we couldn't go anywhere. Dude. Nothing to nothing to do. Yeah. Now we come here, we're in Las Vegas, and I'm like, two weeks, I got I to gotta hoard supplies for sure. Seriously, man. So I've hoarded my supplies. Now we're leaving early, can't right. take them back. Right. And I'm going to be hoardless. The maid is I'm going enough. home for the right. real hoard, and right. I got no hoard. Right, right. Did it wrong. Hindsight. Oh, I'm lucky my wife uh, took care of it. You well, are. Go, you're a lucky man. Gonna go home and hide in the forest. Before this match, Mike D said he's like, "Man, you gotta, you gotta ask that girl. I mean, Dude. you gotta find a. You gotta. Like, you should really think about a, a locking that down. But I mean, seriously, bro, you're not getting any younger, man. <laughs> That's but fair. Time to make it happen. Yeah, yeah." I should have, I should have boombox. I should have hoarded. Uh, that's the other funny thing is I myself am a hoarder. Uh, I definitely do. You know, gross out, grocery out. Mm-hmm. I I feel like I make smart purchases. Okay. And I try to not. Uh, when I'm ready to invest, I'm ready to to buy pretty big. <laughs> okay. So I want you to know that this is how uh, this is how preppers talk. So I, keep going. Yeah. Okay. What's embarrassing is I'm going to uh-huh. get the, the hard time for being the prepper, uh-huh. but I'm the worst of the preppers. So it's the worst of, I, I have no hoard. <laughs> okay. Like I said before, okay. I'm hoardless. Uh, but yeah. I am I think prepping is awesome. I'm all for it. Although I, I notice a lot of times, somehow it involves like 60 boxes of Listerine uh-huh. and cake mix or something where it's like, yeah, I know you found a sale on it. That's not... The, that's not what we're talking about, though. I just you don't feel like you really Lister appreciate a good deal. Mix. Yeah, I think you can. See, that's what they say too. So I feel that's I'm starting to be concerned 
<laughs> I can't appreciate a good deal. I couldn't afford to not buy this stuff. It's another thing people say. Did you ever say that, Summerfield? I, I would lose money by not buying 18 bottles of scope. <laughs> Have I, you said that? I, I, <laughs> I will basically be <laughs> destitute if I don't buy 19 cans of frozen orange juice right now. Do you have any idea the amount of uses for mouth antiseptic? I mean, that stuff can be used for nearly everything. It really can, yeah. I will neither confirm nor deny that statement, but yeah, I mean, it does sound like something I'd say. Okay. <laughs> uh, John Graves, yeah, the grocery outlet is in Oregon, and we definitely still have them there, and yeah, they're, they're nice to have. Yeah. Uh, not for everything, but for some stuff. Yeah. I mean, you got a, you got a tiered grocery system, you know? Yeah. You yeah. start there. Yeah. You see you see what you end yeah, up with, exactly. and then you you shop from there. Yeah. Uh, I, and I think sometimes you have shot. to. Do, I think sometimes you have to do the opposite, Summerfield. I think and sometimes not have grocery outlet. I think sometimes before you buy grocery outlet ground beef, uh-huh. you should check out how much ground beef is at Safeway because it might not be that big of a difference, and it's a little, it's going to be better at Safeway. Uh, uh, cereal, another thing. Two bucks at, at grocery outlet for cereal sounds great, but then you go to the grocery store and you can find a two dollar box of cereal sometimes. You can't find a two dollar box of you cereal. Can't. You can't. I don't believe that. I got kids. I promise you can. Huh. Yeah. What kind of cereal? What do your kids like? The kind that's two dollars. <laughs> <laughs> are are you? <laughs> We're gonna get a warning. So yeah, he's on this side of the table, and I'm trying. All right, he's got a great ball. little lane through there. Yeah, he's just gonna try and stop off that nine. So uh, Lance is on the hill. He needs one more game. Uh, they know about our after midnight. You got a split policy. Yeah. Oh, good. Well, we'll, we'll, we'll have, have to explain that to him. Yeah. Well, the ref, tell him. Go wake the refs up. <laughs> yeah, what I don't like about the 9 to the 12 is what it still doesn't solve your 11 problem. Right. So he nips it. Nice. Wow, what a shot. Nice. That was really strong. Dude. Um, does he have enough of an angle to get down for the 12 ball next? I'm not sure. Before this match, I was like, man, this can, this could totally last like three hours. But I didn't think I meant it. Um, I was not lying. Before this match, I thought, maybe I should run a smash burger now. I thought but the I same thought, thing, actually. That's an hour and 40 minutes. So I'll probably be okay. I feel bad. If you didn't have pickles, I'd I wouldn't feel or I would feel bad. I appreciate that. Get out of the yep, stretch to the bottom. Man, so we did have enough room to get there. I mean, just pick this rack apart. It was not easy at no, all. No. I think we ought to say something just because maybe they don't know the split's an option. You know? <laughs> just I think technically the split's not an option. Is that true? Well, I'm not sure. Well, they, I know that check-wise, you'd have to get the checks, go to the payout window, <laughs> cash your checks, and then sit there and count. I don't think it's Turn real. Out, yeah. uh, this is not your weekly tournament where you would, you would bump a gym split? split. Yeah. Uh, platinum fella. That one mm-hmm. came up and he was just like, "Yeah, is there is there a trophy?" And they were like, "Yeah, yeah, yeah, it's up at the window." I thought they were joking because a lot of pool players have very dry sense of humor. What an out there, Lance! Uh, oh, sweet, holy cow! Are you telling me there really was a trophy? I involved? guess there was a trophy. Well, either that or they even got me because I laughed and then I stopped and I've I was, never seen a trophy, dude. Not once. No. Yeah. All right, and here we go again. I don't know if they're going to flip her leg, but we're going to set two. Um, back to zeros. 
Is this like a five on the bottom or anything, or is it a race to six? I'll check. Uh, it is a race to six. Set two. Yeah. All right, this just in. We're rack one of set two, 2020 CSI Expo. Last match of the tournament. You know what I just found out? Huh. There's trophies. That's amazing. I completely think it's amazing. Who Somebody, told you that? Oh, this fella here. I'm the Josh Anderson. I trust him. There are trophies, okay. Yeah. Well, he's spelled there, right? Yes, there are. Casey says we missed eighty thousand dollars in action at Griff's just in the last hour. Jeez. Uh, uh, Roy's basement. Yeah. Yeah, I wonder. I wonder what's going on over there. They did close down at midnight. Casey sent me a message earlier, and he's like, "You know, Griff's is open till midnight." Um, I don't play well enough or have a large enough wallet to play at Griff's. I yeah. proved that. Jeez, I saw some crazy one pocket there. Did they psych us out? You break and then go? We're on break. We're coming back. $80,000, Griff's tournament. Bad ones.
Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back here to the 2020 CSI Expo. My name is Summerfield Habener, joined in the booth by... Mike D. This is Bad Boys Television. Way wins the first break. Uh, has he been breaking second ball the whole time? I didn't think so. He's trying not to get double dipped here. Yeah. Oh, well, Lance has got the first set. That worked out pretty well. Yeah, that was decent. I think he's got. I think he's got the eleven. Mm, I don't. Uh, well, he may have a hard time then. This may be tough. Yep. Um. Uh, yeah. Yes, Alex. Break. They were Alex taking a break. Back. Uh, hi, Chris. Hey, Chris. Thanks for tuning in. Same time. Uh, you don't like starting with the six. You don't want to be stripes, or you don't want to be solids. Uh, I hadn't really noticed the six. Uh, yeah. I like the six. Uh, the four two bother me, and I'm uh, concerned that the seven doesn't go, and that the stripe cover and it does. Yeah, especially because uh, every you got to deal with things to get something to deal with the yeah, thing. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, uh, but you know, then again, the fourteen doesn't get past the five, so yeah, I, I don't know. But the nine ball upper left. I don't think he can see. I don't think it goes. I don't think he can get to it. Oh, you think the one's in the way? Yeah, 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 yeah. Six side, ten in the left court. Yeah. yeah, you might be right. I don't know that he can see enough of the ten to cut it. Yeah, I'm not sure. Sorry. Is the yawning helping you guys at home? Is that is that entertaining? I'll bet it is. All right, playing safe. I like that idea. Hmm. I like your uh, six ball idea. Yeah, I mean, are you gonna leave the leave the five as a safety ball? Because if you can't deal with that two four seven, yeah, you might as well not do it. Yeah. Would you stop asking me? I'm just a woman. Karaoke streaming. Um, I wonder if he was trying to leave that line for the two. Uh, no, he played, I guess, the he played a stripe. Ten ball did go. Now we know. Now we know. Uh, looks like the nine may or may not pass the eight. Mm. Yeah, five grand is totally a big payday. It's pretty. I mean, this has been blown blown me away. Watching the silver finals for fifty two hundred, I was like, whoa. And again, both those guys play really good pool. Oh man, St. Patrick's Day canceled in Butte, Montana. Wow, that's like. I mean. Butte is the St. Patrick's Day capital. They call it Butte America. And huh. St. Patrick's Day is huge. Huge parade, huge party. Butte is one of the coolest places I've ever been to in the world. Really? Yeah, it's awesome. We went on a historical golf cart tour of Butte. Uh, okay. If you're ever in Butte, okay. Montana, okay. you should really okay. do that. Really? It's a history professor of Montana specific history. Okay. And he's got a golf cart. He drives you around. Uh, no open container laws in Butte. So I'm like, hey, we're just going to finish our beer. You take this up at the bar. Uh -huh. It's like, yeah, we're just going to finish up our beers. And he's like, finish them. He's like, make sure you get another round. And totally. <laughs> That's cool, man. It, it's a really, really fun place. Uh, it also has one of the, what is it? One of the. Ten wonders of the world. One of the ten things you can see from the moon. Oh, really? Uh, Man-made, yeah. Okay. Pretty exciting. That's cool. It's a toxic waste uh, pit. Oh, jeez. So oh, my, oh, my God. Uh, but it's really? called the richest hill on Earth. Okay. And uh, they pretty much just, it's like if you took a, a scoop out of a out of a mountain. Okay. Like an ice cream scoop. Really? And it's uh, filling, yeah, with waste. That's It's not the most interesting part of you, but it's an important part of its history. 
It's filling in with waste. Oh uh, yeah, toxic mining waste. That's still just kind of leaching up. Oh, there. that's not good. It's not good at all. Okay, it's terrible. Um, it's still there's like buttes fairly hollow. It's where evil can evils from. Okay. Um, but you can walk in the underground city. There was a sub level to the sidewalk, mm-hmm. so there was like underground storefronts underneath Butte. Really? So you can go in these like underground cities. Yes, yeah, that sounds crazy. It is. It's really cool. Not uh, a lot to do with pool. This conversation. Is there, are there a lot of more locks? Um, not a lot anymore. Okay. Uh, their time has passed. Okay, good, good, yeah. good. Uh, I am the proud owner of two golf carts. I will have you know. You are not. I, I definitely am. Wow. Yeah. Just from being a country bumpkin. Yeah. From yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They're uh, they're like uh, owning side by sides or razors, but uh, they're way cheaper. Huh. Oh, get there. It's uh, going to uh, get there. Uh, 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 oh, nice. Wow. That's great speed. Yeah. Our Lady of the Rockies, uh, very cool. Great story, too. Uh, it's a statue that you can see on this really tall mountain from the city. Okay, okay. A beautiful white statue. Okay. And the story is this woman was dying of cancer. And her husband said, you know, you pull through this thing, you get better. I'm going to build this statue. I'm going to put it on that mountain. It took, I mean, a ton of money. She recovered, lived. I had to take it up there in three pieces. And, I mean, if you drive through Montana, don't see a lot of statues, let alone on top of a mountain. Oh, okay, peak. okay, okay. And the construction of this is pretty remarkable. Interesting. Yeah. Montana does shit. They, they make some cool stuff. Oh, that's cool, man. Yeah. I'm pretty proud of my Montana heritage as much as I, I myself have now been gone for longer than I was in Montana. Yeah, I, I'm with you, Josh. Or I, Josh, I'm with your daughter. I love Our Lady of the Rockies, too. I look forward to coming around that bend, headed east, and being able to see her. Berkeley Pit. Uh, yep, I've, I've taken several people. I, the last time I left, I was like, you know, I'll never need to do that again. Or not the last time. I guess the time before that, because next time I had people there, I was like, we should probably go to the pit. And it is quite the quite the sight to see. Definitely puts a lot of things in perspective. Dylan on Labor Day. My mom lives in Dylan, and we're always gone on Labor Day. It's crazy. Um, I, I have never done a Labor Day in Dylan because we're in McLeod. McLeod is just east, east of Livingston. Our family's camped there for years, and that's what we're doing. One of these times, though, it's going to happen. That was a pretty slick little safe. Uh, yes. Broke out his balls. Uh, didn't necessarily get them free, but broke them out. And I don't think he's got a line on that 14. Do you? Uh, he sure looks like he does. Yeah, he does. Unless he's playing some sort of a safety underneath the 7. Holy cow, he does. Had, I mean, too much. Oh, he's certainly, yeah, certainly close. <laughs> Victor, that's funny. Evil can evil, though, right? Everybody knows evil can evil. <laughs> yes, can evil. Yep, pride and joy. A uh, little known fact: that's where uh, "Hold My Beer and Watch This" started. Oh, really? Evil can evil. Really? Yep. I don't know that that's true, <laughs> but that sounds right. right. Probably looking at coming under. Under that 15 to pop the two out this way? Uh, if he, I'm not sure he can get under it. I think that might be too much to ask. He's hitting this ball pretty thin. Oh, just making that ball. Oh, that's pretty smart. Mm, except I think he cut that ball. I think he's got an out. I think he left him out. Oh, except he made a ball too. <laughs> For some reason, I thought he had shipped it. The, still his turn. <laughs> what he did was good. Oh, yeah. Stick with that. He's very good. Yes, indeed. Uh, just punch this or go real first? Yep. 
Just oh, lay it up. Interesting. I would have punched it. I would have tried to punch it. To tried to out. pop up yeah. a little bit. Looks like your line is kind of naturally coming to that one ball. Yeah. And I kind of like playing the one, six, five, three. I wonder how far. I wonder. I think he's got that cue ball all the way up to the side pocket. After this shot, if, I don't think he can help but get that far. Yeah. You, and so oh, he's just going into it. it. Yeah. That's all right. That's pretty smart. Yes, it is. Um, do you think he can back cut the five? You think well, this is not going to bother? Maybe, but geez, yeah, I, he'd have to stretch out so much. Yeah. So no. No, he's right-handed. I think going this way. Yeah, I don't know. Lance could cut. Oh no, I'm, I'm saying back cut back at the lower right-hand corner. Yeah, Sorry, yeah. I don't think so. Oh, I see. I see. I thought you meant the other way. Yeah. I don't think so, dude. Let's call the ref. Yeah. That might be a time to do so. Yeah. Uh, six ball banks. I was just going to freeze up on it. <laughs> nice shot. Again, a Spookle really nice shot. shot. Mm. Glad we got that. That's pretty cool, man. Yes, indeed. Next time I want to use it. Here's open. Yeah, right. Yeah, I hope so. The future is uh, tough to predict. All right. My mom with another great reminder. Butte, America, Marie Habener. Mile high, a mile deep where everyone's on the level. <laughs> and they're saying there is Tapper Light. Uh, they're what? 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 Uh, their, their local saying is Tapper Light. Can you guess what Tapper Light is about? No. Anybody out there? I'm going to give him a minute. Then I'm going to tell him. Mom, you are such a wealth of knowledge. I can't believe you're still awake. Right? Krautmaster is Sheldon my nemesis? <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, in like a very, like, one of my favorite people in the entire world, nemesis. <laughs> Uh, Sheldon's a part of our shop and has been since the beginning. He is my cue maker and just generally a delightful person. I love that guy. All right, so Tapper Light uh, was said to miners when dealing with dynamite. The whole idea is you're, you're tapping dynamite into the splits. Oh, and you Tapper Light. Tapper Light. Okay. You don't want to tap her too hard. That makes sense. Have you seen There Will Be Blood? I have. Okay. That's all I got. I'm a fan that's of the my milkshake. Only, that's my diamond dynamite. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You're a fan of the what? Of the milkshake. Of the milkshake? Yeah. You lost me on that. Uh, I drink your milkshake is kind of a famous line from there. We'll oh, on. okay, okay, yeah. okay, okay. It, it was, yeah, a silly joke. I'm going to have to watch it again. You don't remember that part? No, was he in the restaurant? He's talking about, no, he's... <laughs> <laughs> It wasn't an actual milkshake. <laughs> he was talking about the, the oil and the straw. I drink your milkshake. <laughs> He's talking about like mining in like odor. Oh, yes, the long straw. Yes, yes, yeah. yes, yes, yes. No, I do remember that. Casey, you're going gold mining in Montana this summer. Um, I wish you the best on that. Uh, I know a lot too. of people who have made a lot of money doing that. That's not true. I've read about a lot, of, a lot of people. <laughs> I do know people who have lost fortunes doing that. Jeez. If you order a Wisley ditch, or a Wissy? Wissy ditch. Uh, is he saying whiskey? What is the ditch? I think, I think the whiskey ditch would end up being like a boiler maker. That's my guess. What a shot. Brutally beat up the guy's talk. Whoa. Ye the tree, 123. Huh. Yeah, well, fuck you. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, nice shot, Lance. Well done, buddy. 
if you have kids watching, put them to bed. Yeah. Now, now it's time. Because that's my word. Fuck that guy. Mike's telling people to fuck off. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, what an out. Can we talk about that for a uh, minute? That was pretty strong, Lance. Well that done, buddy. Gorgeous. And again, piece by piece, every time he doesn't maybe go out on a limb, he totally just hugged right in there. Yeah. I mean, he played a couple of really smart saves. He's not doing way too much with the cue ball. No, I agree. Taking his cuts. I mean, firing that uh, ball in the, the last left shot, corner. The last shape on that object ball was pretty strong, yeah. man. Uh, whiskey and water. That makes more sense. Because uh, it's in the ditch. Yeah. The whiskey ditch. Uh, well, John, yeah. Uh, it appears that, that way. seems to be a, a topic of discussion. I will say that I've seen some 564s that play like the 630s that I know. There's There's been some big swings here. And I think this is where you go to find those players. I think you definitely are going to see more of that. The larger the payouts get, the larger scale these events get. And I think you're going to see less of that as time goes on with Fargo. I do think Fargo's helping. I do, I do. I will, you know, I've been reading the chat this whole match, and I will say to all of you, uh, this is a league operator issue. And if you want to be upset with anybody, find out who the league operator is and be mad at them. Or at least start uh, the conversation. A, maybe a, maybe let's is, keep the mad BCA out of it. This is BCA League, so this is not a regular old tournament at, at Joe's Saloon. Uh, yeah. There's a league operator involved in every one of these players. So, you know, that's the same with... I've been reading the comments and talking about different players doing different things. That ultimately is a league operator problem. There's always people going to try and hustle the system. BCA expects league operators to figure that out. And James, what you say there is really important because without a doubt that's true. It doesn't matter what's happened and for them to get here, they've done the work to get this good. So they may be they may have needed to play in a higher higher ra- uh, bracket, or maybe in the future they will have to. But this guy's done the work to a buy a dining nice table nice and obviously shoot incredible pool and put a lot of time and effort into getting here. So. Nobody's going to discredit these guys on my watch, that's for sure. Yeah. I think mentioning things is important. Talking about stuff is good. It does help to mention things. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Which one? Yep. I like that you deal with this mess safe. Yeah. Well, that's often a, a pretty pretty successful strategy. Yeah. People lose patience quick. I'll just go for it. Uh, do you know what happened 35 minutes ago? The smash burger closed. It really did. <laughs> Or do you feel like you're still in mourning? Oh, nice. Is open shot. table, is that right? I mean. What's that? That yeah. was a solid sharp combo. Right? It was, that was Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, thank you, Ed. I appreciate that. Ed knows where I'm going at with this. I mean, mm-hmm. listen, it is what it is. It's when it comes down to the league operators. Very nice kick combo. You're absolutely right. And we've seen a couple really creative shots from him. Um, man, a few of them just haven't really paid out like they should. Oh, I agree. Uh, this 15 ball. I mean, if you can get down to the 10, I think the 9 passes the 7, 8 down there. You gotta deal with the 14, but I don't think forcing something with the 15 is worth it. Um, and he's treetop on the 5 ball, too, which makes that tough. Yeah. This is one of my least favorite shots. I really don't like it. Yeah, I agree. 
Turbo, great point. Yeah, I think that's a great point, Turbo. All casinos shut down in 35 minutes ago. Yeah, I believe that. Oh, great that shot. To get in phenomenal position to yeah, run this rack. Yeah, yeah. Wow. So 15, 12, 10, 9, 8. I mean, it feels like the less you do with it, the, the nicer it's looking. <laughs> yes. Oh, that was a great bank. Yeah, gosh, if he could. Uh, yeah, that nine is touchy. You think the nine goes to the bottom left-hand corner? I think it does. Yeah. Okay, so. Yeah, he needs to take the fifteen, and then whatever ball that is in the side, and then 12. he can, and then, and then he can take the fifteen and pull back for the nine in the bottom left-hand corner. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah oh, the what, bottom right, yeah. The 15's the top left, right? What is this on the bottom right? I think that's the 10. Okay, the I was 10. saying 15, then 12. Yes, yes, 15, 12, 10. I agree with you. Now, but he wanted the 10 on the side, Matt. That's, yeah. Yeah. 12, 10, I gotcha. think. Yeah. Yeah, he wanted to be straight. I thought he would have just kind of stopped that ball. Yes. He must have had more of an angle than I thought. I agree. I'm glad you agree. <coughs> Pool shots, nines. Huh. I'm not I'm not sure what you're asking, Crown. I kinda don't think so. You're probably not gonna find a whole lot of footage of me. Oh yeah, uh, maybe you're on my Facebook page. That is me. I'm a giant oafish person. Um I oftentimes do wear like a like a knit cap. Or maybe not knit, a wool cap. I think uh, some people call it a driving cap. Uh, drawn off this ball. That's how you're hitting it, right? Low outside? Yeah. Uh, got, again, got brutal. the nudge. Oh, jeez. Totally brutal. Uh, does the 12 go past the 8? That's really tight. I also don't think he has a choice. I think he's uh, banking. I think he's banking that 12 ball for natural shape on the 9. Not sure that I know Ed Kemper. But maybe so. Mary Glass Lance only plays a few months a year. Lance, is Lance the one that owns a diamond at his house? It is. Oh. Yeah. I feel like you were making a statement there. Yeah, I mean, once you once you own a diamond, it definitely changes, changes things. Uh, it looks like Ed Kemper might be in prison. All right, interesting. <laughs> well, you got to be somewhere, right? I don't really know. Man has to be somewhere. Know anything about him, but it's true. Guy's got to be somewhere. It's a good place to do nothing there, too. Oh, I think he's... Uh, <laughs> yeah, I know what he's talking about, who Ed Kemper is. It's, that's the, the... Oh, God. He's the guy. He's the guy. Uh, 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 something Mines. There's a TV show. And then he's in it. He's one of the people they study. Huh. Got to think someday somebody's going to study me, you know? I guess. <laughs> I've been studying it for two weeks now. Yeah. <laughs> what have you found out? Oh, boy. It's going Nothing. great. It's going Nothing. great. Well, we're going to get you to write that book. I tell you what, it's not just going to be a bunch of sweet sayings. Fabulous insights into Summerfield. Uh, he just started playing more tournaments than he does put 
the time and awesome. And that's great. Listen, I'm not listen. It's you know, totally. I'm not here to argue one way or the other. What I am saying is that the people who are making accusations towards him need to make that accusation to his league, uh, league operator. Nice shot. That is man. my point. Well, and finally, a shot of his pays off. I right, mean, he exactly. just took that. He said some really, really good shots and just yes, kind of got yes. some unlucky rolls. And this one definitely worked out fortunately for him. Um, yeah, tough call here. I go off the seven into the six nine. Okay. Are awesome. you going off the left rail first, or are you just going off the off the seven? I I go just off the seven. You He's can go off the rail first. Him. Yeah, that's not a bad shot. There's really something to be said for somebody who I only like plays that. a few months a year, because you're excited to play. You get back to pool and you're pumped. Sure. You're like, definitely. I want to play pool. Definitely, definitely. And I rarely play enough pool to get sick of playing pool. Right. But it has happened. Right. Uh, this tournament has been really challenging because I have never played less pool at a pool tournament. And I've been here a long time. You have been. Yeah. And I yeah. know you like to play late nights and play a lot. And there just hasn't been an opportunity for that kind of totally. stuff. Totally. Yeah. No, I agree, but That happens. Like I said, I knew this, this was a split intention and I was coming right, here for two right, different reasons. Right. I got to play two tournaments. I had a good run at one. Yeah, but boy, that makes that loss a little little worse for sure. Hmm, so yeah. Kick happening here and I I just don't really know what maybe you can play for the nine trying to tie it up. Yeah. A pretty good shot. Yeah, that was a good shot. Yeah, I was thinking maybe kick into the nine and try and one rail it, but yeah. I think that's way better. People really take for granted how difficult that shot is. I mean, that's really, really good speed control. Just laying that ball right on there. Um, I don't really like, I don't know if he's swinging now, but I don't like swinging that way because that corner pocket feels really big. Yeah. He has good good control of his cue yeah. ball but I think that he likes that it's leaving the duck that way he'll have a shot afterwards yeah and I'm, I'm fine with that I just think I would probably start with the five ball and he's coming under it nice a little bit of what you were talking about being afraid of mm -hmm. yeah Um. Yeah, so follow forward on the five ball and then play the seven to get over for the six in the upper right. Yeah. You can probably get there going rail first, like left side rail on the seven now with some uh, some English, but why why take that risk? The nice thing about this too is the only place the nine goes is that same spot. So as long as you're really careful not to Miss the ball and leave him the same same angle. A pretty good spot to win this thing. So they didn't even consider the split, or no, I don't how, think how'd so, that go buddy. down? No, I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think so. Yeah. That was a really, uh, that was a high level shot right there. Yes, it was. Yeah, to not be afraid to end up behind the nine ball. Good shot, man. Man, oh, man. <sighs> wow. He also yeah. plays like someone who owns a diamond that's been really well leveled. Yes, yeah. Because yeah. he definitely rolls some balls that I'm like, oh, it just scares yes, me. Yes, 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 yes. All right, now, uh, <clears throat> if 
I'm feeling tricky, I draw this all the way back to the bottom rail and back up. But there's absolutely no use for that, so I might as well just do basically a stop shot. How frequently do you do that? What's that? Just because you like to watch the cue ball move? Uh, pretty often when I'm practicing, yeah, I yeah. like to do it a lot. Yeah, I use a lot of draw. Zzz, that's fun. Nice. Wow. Man. That's the second time we're out to 2 0. You know, in a lot of a lot of situations, double dipping, rude. Yes, that is so true. That is so, so true. true. And here, I mean it's still nobody rude. likes it, right. but yeah. But it's pretty uh, pretty impressive. And he is making a good run at this. Uh, I had somebody double dip my ketchup uh, a while ago, and I couldn't believe that it was happening. Did you couldn't give a head believe. tilt or anything? No, I didn't. And by that point, I had pretty much... Uh, Were you just done? I had pretty much uh, uh, come to expect that, that kind of behavior from the person. Huh. If there's anyone in America that has coronavirus right now, it's that person. Yeah, that's... I was concerned. Oh, dope. Uh, it turns out videos are a good thing. Yes. <laughs> Which I wouldn't have occurred to me. So Documentaries. Well done. Yeah, yeah. yeah, well done. Well done, game night. She's very into it. Though. That's cool. Uh, how long does this tournament go for? To four in the morning. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, this is the last day of it, Melissa. We got shut down because of the coronavirus. We were supposed to go all the way till Sunday uh, with teams, and it was going to be amazing. And uh, we, we got shut down. Uh, Las Vegas is closed. Yeah, Las Vegas is closed. When you walk into Las Vegas and the gambling machines are off, that's a big deal. It's weird. Somebody was like, they're not going to turn all the power off. It's like, do you have any idea how much it costs to power Las Vegas? Dude. And if they're not bringing in a ton of money, they yeah, they're going to shut it down. Yep. Seriously. I am... Just, I can't even imagine what this city specifically is going to do. Mm. Last matches. Yeah. Oh. oh, man, that's rough. Brutal. I'm going to rewatch that. Tough action right there. Plays a <sighs> three ball. He must have got bumped. Yeah. Yeah. God, jeez, what an awful bump, too. Oy. Yeah, that's heartbreaking. And again, man, just really open table here. Um, I'm going to be surprised if he takes stripes. Yeah, I would agree with that. I don't I know why. That. He's got dead ball hand. Yeah, he's got to go four, six, uh, one, five, seven, something like that. He's got to yeah. do that version of that. I think I told you this, but I had the the idea. I was like, oh, it's the weekend. I can go to the pool because the pool's only been open on the weekend here. And I was like, oh, I, don't, I, I don't think I don't think I can go to the pool, man. Like, I, I don't think that's a good idea at all. Yeah. Another one. Absolutely. Like, they canceled sport. America canceled sports. Yeah, dude. Yeah. 
just looking to make sure Luxor Light can be seen in space. Wow. I believe it. Soak in the pit. Soak in the pit. Berkeley pit. What's Mike? the thing that's been on fire in Pennsylvania forever? Uh, it was a big old burning pit. Is it the tire fire? Mm, no. Not the, not the Simpsons thing? No. No. That's Springfield. Nice shooting, Lance. Man, oh, man. Lance is trying for us. Uh, there's a coal pit in Perth. In, in, in Back east somewhere that's been on fire for 50 years. I think that's wasteful. It's getting late. Yeah. It's well, it's very warm there though. Yeah. So, I mean, there's that. Yeah. You just what you do is you just build a house close to the fire. Totally. It's that Mitch Hedberg joke. He's like, man, you ever find yourself lost in the woods? It's like, fuck it, build a house. <laughs> now I live here. <laughs> yeah. Oh God. And there are shows on television now that help you do that. Yeah. There really are, aren't there? I watch a lot of them. I don't watch them, but every time I turn one on, I'm like, you know what? That's a show I could watch. I hope to build a cabin in the woods within the next two years. Just just for fun? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I think I You're might. You're building a house at the that, same time, right? I'm hoping this summer to be able to do it well. Mm. Uh, I'm not building nothing. Uh-huh. People are building it, and then okay. they're doing everything, and yeah, no. Very yeah, but I, I'm hoping to build a cabin in the woods. Your woods? Uh huh. Yeah. Just to have a separate dwelling. Just to have a cabin. Just a cute little cabin to drink coffee in the morning. Now, like a Japanese uh, tea house uh-huh. uh, style of a cabin with lots of windows, uh, a, a couple comfortable chairs, just to play, just to drink coffee in the morning mainly. Maybe you gonna a throw a slab down, or just gonna build it under? Uh, well, not a slab. No, I'll I'll make a, a platform. Make yourself a platform. Yeah, and then you build the, the cabin on the platform. All right. Yeah, it's basically just a deck. Yeah. It's not that, yeah. Are you going to harvest the trees yourself? We have a lot of trees right now already harvest, but uh, cutting them up into actual wood that you can use is a whole thing. Yeah. And no, I probably will not. Gotcha. Yeah, I'll probably use just lumber. That'll be fun. Uh, I'm really, really looking forward to it, yeah. There's times when I'm talking to you when I feel like I'm doing life wrong. Because I feel like you have a very specific plan for, like, baths and coffee. Two things I really enjoy. And I can't say that I prioritize nearly as well as you. Have you always done that? I've tried to as I've gotten older. It's gotten better. Your appreciator uh, of the little things. Well, you start fine tuning. You realize when you go off track, and uh, yeah, yeah, and what's important to you. Yeah, uh, I've I've mentioned this to you, and I will mention it again. Being married really helps, man. I've been married yeah. fourteen years. Uh, yeah. it's having that consistent dinner every night and just a consistent life helps you to fine tune some things in your life. Yeah. Well, I think you fine tune quite a few things. Well, I've tried to. Thank you. Yeah. Ooh, that was strong. Just a dart right around there? Yeah, way that yeah. was strong. Yeah, because clipping that doesn't get you nearly no. nearly as much. $1,200 a day to stay on. I bet it's more than that. kind of think so, yeah. 335 yeah, exactly, John. It's a teeny town. There still are plenty of places in Montana that are exactly that way. Uh, Victor, wait, I'm coming with you. Where are you guys going? He said, I gotta go. I'll see you guys later. It's getting late. I gotta go. Oh, you're out too? All right. Perfect. Well, I, I, well, Mary, I understand what you're saying about the diamonds, and that's awesome, but, but actual access... Uh, when you're in your underwear at four in the morning, it's pretty cool. I like having it in my house. I'm sure uh, Lance likes having his in his house, too. Nice. It's a great shot. Uh, so five ball to deal with the one? 
Yeah, I think you have to just because I it definitely cuts. Uh, yeah. And you've got the three ball down there. So if you can cut the one ball, bring the cue ball back over, you're going to have shape for the three. Yeah. Uh, might even take the five now. I guess going to draw back a little bit on this one. Make sure he's got a better line. Yeah. Yeah, and that's pretty, pretty strong. Nice straight shot on that five ball. Coming over to take a second look. Always a smart yeah, idea. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah, seriously, take that time. It really needs to stop this right in place. Good job. Uh, so one two, uh, one two or one three. It depends on how he lands. Uh, but yeah, he's he's lucky that he's got two options. Lucky hey, because you don't really want to hit that stripe. No, the stripe's just going to keep you down there. Right, exactly. No, if yeah, in a perfect world, he lands on the two in the side for a stop shot, and then dead on the three. Yeah, you see, this oh, is not was, a perfect world. It is not a perfect. <laughs> Ah, uh, but unfortunately, it's really not, really not a perfect world. Yeah. Uh, now he's got to go through traffic. He's got to go through the 13, 11, and back around. Is that what you're thinking? Yeah, yeah, yeah. With that English. Yeah. Because he's got to come straight off that ball in between the 11 and the 13, but then he's got to pick up a little bit of an angle to swing right to go off the long rail and come back up for the three. He thinks he can get past the center point of that 13. I don't trust that. Yeah. Even if you get to the wrong side of it, you're in trouble. And I usually overstroke this. I put too much English on the ball coming off the two, and I'm going to run into the 11 and get stuck back there. So I really just want to... Oh, does he have the three now? If he's got the three, that's it. Nice. Yeah. Nice. All right. To that left side railing back out. Yeah. No, this could be it. I don't think you wanted to hit it that hard. I don't think you wanted to no. come around no. and bump the two, no. but it worked no. out perfect. No. Nice shot, way. Staying in this thing. There we go. Nice way. Very nice shot. Making another stripe just for good measure. All right. Do you think it's weird that they allowed the gold division to go to a third set if there's a tie? <laughs> both ways for the set. Gotta have a tiebreaker. Yeah, I think it's bullshit. And, uh, <laughs> and then if the person that didn't have the hammer wins that, you gotta do it again. Gotta go again. Not typical for the Rick Jones no. philosophy. <laughs> I just called Ozzy and we've agreed no. Uh, are you aware that we have more referees currently than we do have players have to win this tournament? Yes, I am aware of that. Yeah, there are, it looks like a gang, actually. Uh, I'm going to give him a warning. <laughs> give him a warning. Perfect. You are overstaffed. Yes. Maybe I could go do a quick interview. All right, way. This is all the, all the momentum shift you need right here. Break and run. Hopefully he can get a nice lay on this break, man. He's hit the balls really well, but got kicked in. We'll see what happens. Pepsi's getting light over there, pal. You're done. I've, I've, yeah. No more caffeine. That's right. Toast. Hard pass. 
I have so many snacks down here and just nothing, nothing's doing. Great break. Very great break. Uh, that was kind of what I was talking about. This is the the leave he needs to run the stable out. He's broken good and seemingly unobstructed out here. Do you start with the two ball? Yeah, two and then the six. The six is a little awkward too. Two and six the, one the, five. The lands. Oh yeah, you land perfect on with two. Yeah. yeah, two six one five. Boy, I can smell that garbage can. Once again, is it? It's hot trash like bananas and it's bananas soda. and food and stuff. Yeah. How do you like bananas? I haven't had a banana in probably twenty years, buddy. Never, because you're a PB and J guy, PB and honey guy. Uh huh. Never, never on the PB and honey, huh? No. You ever had a fried banana sandwich? No. You a texture guy? Like, would uh, that be I don't, don't that want to be, but I probably am. Yeah, soggy bread. Totally. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah, I'm not good about eating fruit. I eat vegetables because my wife makes it, and then she puts it in front of me, but she never puts fruit in front of me. It's her fault. Peanut butter and cream cheese, I'll bet I'd love that. All right. Ran a little long on that one, but uh, still plenty to do. So now I'm kind of resetting, and I'm going to go one five six. Yeah, I think he agrees with you. Yeah. Again, just got a little, little funky angle there. But he's gonna be fine. Yeah, one five six seven four eight. I guess I can stop saying one. It's a thing of the nice. past. Nice. nice. Shot. I gotta say, as much as I might be ready for this match to be over, and all of that, I want to see this go to the end. I totally want to see this happen. I would love to see way come back and make this a match and oh, if it's not like this I mean this is a huge confidence oh, booster I agree I agree it's huge absolutely Daniel thanks for tuning in man Chris good night sweet dreams uh, thank you Chris nice great shot yeah of course Daniel no problem Uh, and to be fair, Daniel, uh, I've been playing matches and I didn't have to do anything when I was doing that. And we've had plenty of time. It's been kind of slow. It's really this last day. As, as tired as I am, it's really this last day that we're... For sure. That it's all these finals and we just... Yeah. Yeah, we just feel bad not doing the finals. And, and Rick Jones is is far from insisting we do this. We could have been done hours ago and he'd never say a word to us. Oh, for sure. Nice shot, Way. You know, but, th that is true. But uh, you, I know... There would be there would be a joke. <laughs> He's pretty good joke. with the yeah, passive yeah, aggressive right. jokes. The jokes, yes. And yeah. I do everything that I can to avoid the passive aggressive joke. Yeah, yeah. Not that that's the reason I'm here by any means. I yeah, I would have a really hard time walking away from. He, from he left moment. tonight. Uh -huh. And did not say one word to us about. Hey, you know, there's another match after this, or yeah. you know, I want it'd be nice if we could get all these finals in. Not one single word. No. Nope. Of you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, you know, just drop this in your ear to let you know it's important to me that you guys can do what you want. But just so you know, you know yeah, nothing. He's yeah. just, he's just out of here. He's, mm. I don't blame him. They are gonna have the craziest day of all time tomorrow. Uh, I think that's part of it for me too. Is that I'm, I'm going home tomorrow. I'm not gonna be packing up tables and, uh, yeah, and they are, yeah. I talked to Bob. Uh, Bob's uh, coming down here at 10 a.m. and going to help uh, with tables. Help get loaded out, you know, whatever that means. Yep. Yeah. Uh, you know what I'm going to do tomorrow? I hope you're going to sleep. I am going to not set an alarm. And I realized, honestly, the night before your match, I hadn't set an alarm. And I woke up naturally. 
which is nice. I was so glad. That's cool, man. Because I would have felt so terrible had I had I not woken up. Um, somebody would have woken me up. Bob yes. would have woken me yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. More. He would have woken me up. <laughs> He's good for that. <laughs> He'll wake you up in a hot second. You yeah. don't even have to ask. He's got a skill. What can <laughs> he you say? Got, he's got real talent. Last match, Puri. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you were right about that. Dude. Well, I still have to go. I have to pack my stuff and then you. head for the airport tomorrow morning. I'd love to be at the airport at 1030. Leave for about 10. So, yeah, it's going to, yeah. You got some stuff to do. I got some stuff to do. Yep. But, listen, I don't have to build a, an Ikea bookshelf. That's true. I just have to pack a bag, which involves throwing my crap in a bag. Let's be honest, okay? <laughs> hey, Rick Jones is still up and about. Hey, Rick Jones. Nice. Boot box of the Mighty Mike T. Rockin' the hours. Oh, man. That's right. We're doing it for you, uh, Rick Jones. Totally. And this has been a really cool opportunity. I mean, uh, last match for months. You're totally right. I hadn't really thought about that. This is like the end of it all. This might, yeah. Well, God willing, it's not the end of it all, but yes, yeah, it's, it's going to be a bit. Yeah, yeah. I told you, Kansas closed school for sure, for a year. For a I year. I think right now that's something to really digest. Digest. You, you, you digest yeah. it? You think about it? It's a, it's a long, gosh darn time. I'm, I'm, no, I, sorry, I didn't appreciate your statement at all. Uh, okay. But I just realized that digest and Deichman, I, I want like a reader's digester. A reader's digester. Something. I Deichmaner. skipped right past Deichmaner. that for the funny. All right. Well, like the good. scary, That's That's ominous great. thoughts you're about getting, the future world. You're getting nothing from this conversation. But that kind of sounded funny and went together. I like that. I think I think this is summer after 1 a.m. Yeah. Punch drunk Sunday. I'm losing it. Yeah. Uh, but for nice real, try. this nice I'm try. very, very glad to, to be here and be a part of this bad boy's TV, Mike D. Uh, summer doesn't leave until Thursday. Yeah, Thursday. Yeah, if I was leaving in five hours, it would be interesting because I also have to pack and... My life is pretty strewn about right now. I moved into the casino as opposed to just my room. And I thought for quite a period of time I was going to be moving. Uh, yeah, it's, it'll it'll be interesting. Packing's going to look fun. Your know. stuff spread about the room or the casino? Well, the casino. Really? Yeah, it's not too bad. Okay. I mean, I got, like, I got some stuff down here. But definitely, like... Okay. I'd move stuff down, being like, you know, why am I carrying this back and forth? I got stuff here. Now. Okay, okay. Um, so yeah. I'm glad I have a day. Uh, I will fix the score. I'm sorry. That is And me. eat that turkey, Ed Stud says. Yes. Yes, I will. I have things yeah, left over you. that I will be trying to finish up tonight. I think but as opposed to happen. bringing the stuff in my fridge down here, I'm just going to bring the fridge bring down the here. Bring the fridge, yeah. Because yeah. it's not going to fit in that it's fridge. Get a hand truck. Uh, my maid is going to score on Tillamook cheese and pastrami. I can tell you that much. You're not going to bring any back? To where? To home. No. Are you trying to tell me you're going to bring sandwiches on board, but you're not going to bring the cheese and pastrami? I'm not really going to bring sandwiches. On, uh, here's the truth. Sometimes when I travel, I bring my daughter's pink lunch box and I put a bunch of sandwiches in it. This time I didn't do that. So I don't have the pink lunch box here, so I can't make sandwiches to go back. Because I would want them to stay cool in the airplane. I don't like them in my backpack. It's a, it's a meat and cheese sandwich. Go ahead. So, Heard, right now you have the raw ingredients for the sandwiches. And you're, you're, not, you're not a prepper, but we're in a time where going to the grocery store isn't quite as yes, fun as yes, it used to be. Definitely, definitely, definitely. And you're telling me you're not going to pack your block of cheese. No, I'm not. It's a weight thing? God, I hadn't thought about that, but yeah. Yeah, it is. Wait, cheese is gosh darn expensive. It's it's true. Are there no, unicorns on the LB? Still. Bad Boys for Life, thank you. And yes, Bad Boys is still kicking, believe it. Yes, Making indeed. this happen. Yeah, this is, really is a tournament to remember. Well, I got fourth place. My God, $1,100. Who would have thought that? That's it? so cool. Yeah, I, I, I would have. Plus, there was a coronavirus, but seriously. So fourth place for you, third place for James. Second place for James. 
No, I don't think no? so. Oh, wait, yeah, this is yeah. second James chance for James. Sorry. Place. Yeah, James got second place. I was like, why is he not playing then? Yeah, and Where the tall that? guy that beat me 6-0, uh, James beat that guy. Six, either 6-1 or... Oh, that's the first time we've seen that. We haven't seen him just miss wow. a ball. Wow, yes, he beat him pretty badly. Yeah. Uh, what happened in your match? With who? Uh, in the in the six zero one, was it just in the, oh that oh, guy that, that you oh, talked about that the uh, breaks. he broke one time it was an amazing he broke a couple other times it was very good I broke two or three times they were not good I didn't make a ball he yeah, ran right. out almost every one of those times that I just named yeah yeah uh, I had a couple shots uh -huh. I didn't it wasn't a match where I sat the whole time I did get to get to the table a few times. But not much, and boy, he just he just ran wrecks. Yeah, yeah, can't argue with that. It's hard to argue with that. Well, man, yeah. what a wonderful tournament. Oh, it's, yeah, yeah, it's been proud amazing. Of you. Yes, but thank you, thank you. Yeah, I'm proud of me too. Yeah, uh, worlds, world championships. Uh, that's that's hard to pull off for. Worldly platinum division, you know. Yes, indeed. Yeah, I'll take it. I don't it's know. no ninth through twelfth in the gold, but I mean that's pretty good. You did good, man. I like that. That's a good shot, way. Wow, he's about to make this three three if he can. Uh, let let us all pause for a moment and watch this shot, because if that one ball doesn't go in, he just left the eight ball straight. I mean, he was that confident in that yep. ball that straight. That's yep. Yep. not a shot to take for granted. Great shot. I had a guy uh, do that shot to me earlier today, and it did not work. Yeah, and it left me out. And I, I guess laughed and laughed and laughed. Were you counting your laughter? I was. Yeah. So, ha, 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 one, ha, 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 two. Now, now I have kind of like a the count uh, from Sesame Street vibe going. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. Uh, uh, but you know what? Oh man, that's unfortunate. Dude, tell me, might as well. Oh jeez. Oh man. Heartbreaker. He can glance off the two and up and then hook him underneath the two and the seven. Yeah, but he's uh, going to bump the seven. He's trying to hook him behind a moving ball. Yeah, you got to do it pretty carefully. Yeah. Uh, how about playing the three ball up towards the head rail and leaving the cue ball behind the four? Uh, maybe. That looks tough. It looks like there's only a little bit of a pie-shaped wedge behind that four ball that he could put the cue in. I like my idea better. They're both touchy. Is that a bigger piece of the pie than the moving? There, there you, go. you go. Totally. Nice. Good control. Uh, it's because those object balls were about two inches away from each other that it made that possible. If mm -hmm. they were touching, any bit of a bump would make that seven really go. But Yep. Gotcha. All right, so this is a jump shot to the top right corner. Don't scratch. Yeah. Upper left-hand corner, just called it. Okay. Look, let's get preference. this straight. Uh, Mike doesn't care <laughs> where, where you get this ball. I just don't. I prefer to the right. See where the four is? I just, that looks. I do. Yeah, I don't like it. It's dark. I have a question for you. What's that? Do I jump like that? Uh, I know for a fact Mike D does not dart jump. Thank you. Uh, you know how I remember? How? Oh. He does dot dart. It's all, they're all these. Mike D. Oh. Oh, brutal. Did that, he clip balls going out too? I don't, I don't think, think so. No, I don't no. think so. Gosh. Well, that's a heartbreaker, but this is a good opportunity for Way. Yeah, uh, take it to 3-3. Three, three. Are you playing the combo here? Oh, God, I hope not. God, I hope not. Uh, this is tough. Yeah, because you want to take that two inside, but then you don't. You have to play another hook on him. You'd play another hook here. I don't know what I, I don't know if I would, but he may have to. Uh, what about just knocking the seven out of there and freezing on the two? definitely along the lines of what I'm thinking. 
with them that close. Maybe the line through on here. Yeah, my throat's making weird noises. Sorry. Uh, that's still a limited space you can leave that seven. Uh huh. I don't know. I kind of like the combo. I wonder if he's going to draw back into the seven, push it close to the pocket, and bring the cue ball up so he has a shot. I like that. Doesn't look like that's what yeah, he's doing. Yeah, but he's not. Oh, he was going to oh, try and hit the eight. Had that eight ball, dude. Oh, ouch. And you watch that ball just grip and throw right, right. past the eight. Brutal. All right. Man, oh, man. He can get out. You're totally right. Uh, I mean, you can play the four ball and then leave yourself with the three to drift down. It's a nice shot. I like it. All right, I'm jumping the eight ball and going two rails to the bottom right hand corner. Yeah. And I would make that shot one out of 756 times. Yeah. Yeah, that is really not easy. Yeah, and I think technically he's, the three's in the way. He's banking a cut, or he's jumping a cut. <laughs> he's banking a cut. He's jumping the shark. This ain't easy. Not darting this one. Nice. I like it better though. I do too. He's got more room. And he's, I mean, he didn't even bat an eye at that cut. Oh, oh I think the ball's under us. Oh, oh we're, we're under attack. It's under the booth. Under attack. We are under attack. Shelter in place. Shelter in place. <laughs> Get your list screen ready. Your scope. Cake uh, we're giving these players an update. <laughs> we're gonna have to get involved in the search party. Uh, we'll be back. Well, we either found the ball or we found the replacement ball. We right. don't want to know. We're not asking a lot of questions. At one in the morning, I don't ask a lot of questions. I get a lot easier to do. Yeah, I can smell the trash can now. That's what I'm talking about. Buddy. You're totally right. I don't know how I couldn't smell it before. Brother, I don't know how you couldn't smell it before. <laughs> I see that your eyes are starting to water, and that's what I'm talking about, my friend. It's not Wow. Good. Yeah. Do you know how you brought that garbage can over here three days ago? I do. No Not. one has done anything with that garbage can for three days. And I think that's kind of their, oh, do you want me to get a garbage can? Don't mind if we do. <laughs> Let me get that for you. Right. Sure. You'll never see us again. Right, exactly. Uh, one thing that not a lot of people know about what Bad Boys provides for tournament situations mm -hmm. is they are a one-to-one -one tournament. So there will be a referee and a commentator for every player involved in this event. <laughs> one to one. Yeah. It's a one good to one ratio. To one. It's a good yeah. ratio. You will never be without a commentator. Uh, where are and, and it's us and the French immersion school. That's the only people that have this much staff. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. <laughs> Sometimes summer is not expecting the turn that I take. It's you take some good turns. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I want you to have to keep up with me. That's fine. I mean, I'm 67 years old, for God's sakes. Don't you dare. According to Rick. Oh, nice. Yeah, he's smiling. He knows. A uh, 3 3 way. Come on, buddy. Nice. Focus. 
And Melissa, you you are right. Yeah, I do believe they're losing tourism. Think think so? And back way breaking. So we're at three three right now. Huge. I wonder if the players can feel the animosity of the streamers <laughs> and the refs right now as we all stand there and wait for them to, you know, finish up whenever they're ready. Whenever you're done. <laughs> whenever you guys are done, we can be done. There's certain players that I'm like, you know, I'll bet you're going to watch this match and I'll bet at some point we're going to like be able to talk and you're going you're gonna to be like, oh, that, that was fun. I had a good time. I don't think these guys are ever going to have that feeling. Yeah. I don't think they're yeah. gonna they're gonna mute this. Yeah, almost immediately. Yes, probably. In which case, uh, we're we're here for you guys, really, more than anything. We're here for the people in the in the room, the people watching, and for the future of pool. I mean, this will go down as the gold final, the last pool match maybe ever played. Right. I'm here for the five dollar coffee. Yeah. Who was the friend? Wow. Five dollars for a cup of coffee here, folks. All day. That's tough. Tough action, man. I was talking a lot about it in the chat room. People are just like, man, you got to get some coffee. I was like, dude, come on down. It's five bucks. Send a, yeah, send a cup of coffee my way. Yeah. Starbucks? Yeah. Get, not uh, getting out for 10 Starbucks, 15 bucks. bucks. Yeah. 10 bucks, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 15 bucks, you get a little yeah. little guy. Yeah. Get a little sandwich. Right. Yeah. Yeah, it is It is. Uh, it is tough. Yeah, $19 subs. No, We're it. both turning into your friend, who's I a know. lot of fun to be with. Subs are $19? <laughs> How much is uh, Culver's? Uh, I don't know what Culver's is. I got a $7 bon me today, and it was great. There we go, Vietnamese iced coffee. Lee's, you're totally right, Kevin. You just called that. Same train of thought. Lee's, 24 hours a day. You know what day they're not open 24 hours a day? Today. That was my story. Yeah, that's right, Crab Monster. Yeah, I got it. Yeah, yeah. I, I got you. You're paying attention. I like it. Oh, you were talking Culver's. What is Culver's? Good story. All right. It sounded like a solid break. An hour and 24 minutes ago, Smashburger closed. <laughs> Hearts were broken. Hearts were broken. Three three. This is a race to nineteen. Yep. Uh, no, it's a race to six. But uh, yeah, they're halfway there. As some people would say. We're we're at the halfway point. They're, they here's the problem. Though. We're we're at more than halfway. It, here's the problem though. You know how sometimes your dryer says thirty. That doesn't necessarily mean thirty minutes. No. We're not necessarily halfway. We're just mathematically. We're halfway there. The, we could have another nine hours of this match. You don't know. It's true. Because these players got to win by two. Another <laughs> new, it's like, newly implemented It's, like it's rule. college volleyball rules, right? Yeah. Beach volleyball rules, whatever that is. Yeah. Ping, uh, uh, keg party rules uh, for ping pong. I think they uh, they changed college beach volleyball rules. Oh, thank yeah. God. Too many STDs. It's the spandex. That's, yeah. It's the spandex. It's true. And taking his time at the table, Lance Stanchfield. A lot of fields in Montana. Summer Are there? fields, okay. uh, Stanchfields, yeah. All right. I'm very aware of the open container policy there, Indeed. and I have many stories to tell you, uh, but they're not really stream stories. You you are very aware of the open container. Yes, and uh, uh, uh th yes, the yes, there's a different uh sensibility uh when it comes to drinking. I agree. Yeah. All right. Well, we're, we got tons to talk about. I mean, you know, this ends today, but this doesn't end today. Right. Oh, that's we so get, nice. Yeah. 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 There's more of this to come. Yeah. We wouldn't want to be that married couple, you know, that just figures it all out in one day. That's true. It's not a not a challenge to your wife by any means. I'm just <laughs> saying. Mike D says, "Thank goodness, he can't wait to leave. He can't wait to leave this booth, Las Vegas." 
All uh, of it. My 45 minute, yo, dude, with James DeVee, <sighs> my God, that seriously. Yeah. But, I mean, second yeah. win, a world record. Yeah. Is yeah, that right? your first world record? That is my first world record, yes. God, that's I'm big proud. to you. Do you I'm get anything for that? Uh, apparently, there's a trophy, somebody said. I heard trophy. Oh, no, that was for something different. Well, yeah. Or winning the tournament or something. Even, whoa. Huh? FBI gun. Shut you down. Oh, at fourteen, fourteen. Yeah, oh, yeah, I, yeah. Yeah, I see what you're saying, brother. Yeah, yeah. It's pretty funny. Oh man, tricky little shot. Hmm. I guess that two goes in the lower right hand corner pocket. And he's wanting to use the five to get to the four. Yeah, that makes sense. Do you know that it's tomorrow? Today is tomorrow. Today is tomorrow. Already. Yeah. You know what else happens today? Uh huh. You go home. That's yes. I'm ready to see my wife and children. Yeah. That's pretty cute. Your daughter called today and wanted to FaceTime and Yes, he did. Yeah. Yes, he did. This is the Mike D. Are you going to do any self-quarantining when you get back? I got to think a lot about that. My brain hasn't been working a whole lot the last day or so. Yeah. Um, my girlfriend really excited to see me. I know Gunner's going to be excited to see me too. And of course, we are. I don't think that they're in any way going to be like, oh, you should probably go hang out in the basement for two weeks. Uh, so that's going to be up to me to make the call. And I, I honestly think I'm going to feel guilty if I don't make the call. And I feel like there isn't really a good halfway there. I feel like we can still spend time together. But I'm I'm a little nervous. I, I don't want to be the person that brings this back to their household. Yep, yep. Nope. So, to yeah. our household. Nope. My uh, One of my daughters has some immune uh, issues. And yeah, she uh, has some life-threatening uh, medical issues. And yeah, I, I'm Are you going to be self-quarantining? I, uh... I don't know. I feel like we're obligated to spend the first two or three days certainly, you know, keeping an eye on ourselves or something. You know, I don't know, man. What what I've heard is that the test, well, we're just going to get right There's into no the test. test. <laughs> Go ahead. Wait, no, I've, I've heard the testing is going to become far more available soon for legitimately, but they do a pre-screening. So... Yeah. If that's the case, I mean, I would love to go get tested. Where did, where did you hear that? Uh, Facebook. Okay. That's not true. Okay. Uh, no, I heard that from my mom, actually. Okay. Typically okay. a pretty credible source. Okay. Because I know uh, Donald Trump had said that. So I was just curious. Yeah. Because then you know it's true. I don't want to get into that <laughs> part of it, but I just, you know, there was, you know, there was I know. A, I, I a didn't press conference and... But then later it turned out maybe some of that stuff wasn't as super accurate as it could be. The drive-by testing was the one I think of where yeah. apparently that's more of an idea at this point than anything. I think Lance. Oh. I mean, he shot that ball. Watch this. Oh. I haven't seen him rattle. I've seen him rattle one ball. But he missed that ball. Big. Huh. Wow. And I think he was just so focused on getting back over there. He got really lucky. Yeah, he did. He played a pretty tough little hook. Yeah. Uh, this is when my restless leg syndrome makes me want to dance. That's <laughs> when I see her yeah. kicking that stuff. And you got moves. You know, got moves. Thanks, a lot of people man. don't see it back here, but Thank Mike you, is right. dancing most right. of the time. I'll believe here. it. It's a strong amazing. cardio. Strong cardio, yeah. Yeah. Which means this, yeah, I mean. This is source of, yeah, crop master. I'm with you, buddy. I am stunned the referees are still here. There's three of them. Uh, two players, three refs, two yeah. commentators, one tournament director. We are a well-staffed environment. And Casey, I don't know if you're still watching out there, but if you're wondering about... I I won't even open that door. Casey, thanks for joining us. We'll have that conversation another time. Um, man. 
how do you like kicking two rails behind the 1015? Like trying to hit yeah. into the 1015. Yeah, I like that. I like that. Yeah. Yeah, that's, I, that's what he's trying to do. I just wait till he points at something. And I'm like, ooh, you know what I could do? Ooh, that was pretty good, dude. That was pretty good. Wow. Totally. Yeah, a lens can see nothing. I see Shorty coming out. Uh, looks like a nice rosewood shaft jump cue here. Or purple heart, sorry. Brutal. Well, I hit it. Just the sounds of that. I mean, that cue sounds hard as nails. Right, it sounds like he's hitting it with a hammer. Yeah, we got a lot of action on that. Too. Yeah. Yeah, it's our second cue ball. <laughs> Shouldn't bring that up. I'm never going to admit to that. No, I'm sure that they found the missing cue ball. I'm not just we got a cue ball from the next table over because it's one in the morning and they don't give a crap. Rick, if there's one, we know for sure. <laughs> right. Rick, if you're missing a cue ball, it might be underneath where we stand. I think better say table two. Yeah. Uh, looking pretty good here. A couple touchy little shots, but... I mean, he should, should be able to get out here. shot. Oh, man. I thought he'd leave himself the 10 on that. I did, too. Do you think he got more spin out of that than he wanted? Yeah, I think he probably over a little bit. bit. Yeah. Well, we've seen both these players make, make a mistake. I mean, Lance missing that ball was very out of character for how he's played. Well, I agree totally. Uh, good news is plenty of time to get there. I kind of like um, 13, 11, 10. Yeah. Yes, I agree totally. And then probably the nine, twelve, fourteen, eight. Uh, that's not how he wanted to land. He wanted to get that cue ball off the rail a tiny bit, even more so than it is, so he could scoop under it. Yeah. After banging the ten ball. Yeah, that's a little straight. Oh, I wonder, did he just land on the 14? Is that what he's looking at? He took a look, but yeah. he landed straight in the wrong direction, too. I mean, you can stay that couple inches off the rail. Yeah, he wanted to drift or to just to be able to stop. Hmm. I think he was just fine. I didn't show you this, but you can look at it if you want. You can read it if you want. A couple people have reached out. In the match. All right, way is looking pretty good to put this away. Oh, nice. Yeah, is he going to leave himself with a 10? That's interesting. Nice shot. I don't know. Yeah, I hope he got there. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, I don't think so. He's got to take that nine ball. Yeah. Um, Melissa, I think everyone is tired too. Yeah, I agree. I think they're making more mistakes. Yeah. I'm not tired, you're tired. I'm not tired, you're tired. 
tired of your attitude. All right. Yeah, I am tired. Officially tired. You're right. Uh, you carry forward, lay up, take the long cut. Yes. Yeah, I don't think it's possible to draw and scoot over to the right hand. I think all you can really do is, is follow. That looks pretty good. Yeah, I think so. I think with a bunch of left hand, he can put that in, bring the cue ball all the way around. I really like playing this with high right. Oh, really? Yeah, just stay inside that. I feel like I can hit a more full stroke and it will tame my speed. And I'm not coming across. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, I think that's probably the more natural way to hit it. It's a great shot. <laughs> that's cool, John. John Graves making the bet is good. I read your thing about the driver or the dryer being finished. This is huge. Wow. Way taking the lead at 4 3. He hasn't led this match yet it's until now. And right now he's two games away from winning this thing. And I know Lance is tired. He's got to be. I mean, that kind of focus is hard to muster for, for that period of time. That's the block guy. I don't see as much as Melissa. That is my life right there. Hey, you you a block guy? I get, you get blocked get a lot? messages, no. But, uh, oh, excuse me, what? You get blocked a lot? Yeah. Really? Yeah, I get blocked a lot, yeah. Huh. I mean, I've seen you be outspoken, but I've, I've never seen, I guess I've never seen you cross a line. Maybe I don't pay enough attention. Uh, do you follow my TSPN, TSPN unauthorized group? A hundred percent no. Oh, I, I don't even know what that is. Check that out. Yeah. I've uh, been fighting a league called TSPN for about almost three years now. Uh, why Why are you fighting them? And then there's, other, then there's, there's some RL, RLS groups that I've been kicked out of. Rest like you know, groups that I've been kicked out of. Uh, and there's some foster care groups I've been kicked out of. I get kicked out of a lot of groups. I'm, I, have the, I have a level of respect in pool where when I talk mad smack, people are like, that's oh, just my dude. Uh -huh. In other walks of life, when I do that, they're like, that guy's crazy. <laughs> We're blocking him. Uh, that's really funny. Uh, and there's a couple of people that I've blocked that every once in a while, uh, someone, a mutual friend will reach out. Ed Slade has reached out to me before and said, hey, did you, uh, did you block so-and-so? Like, oh, yeah. Oh. She's a bitch. <laughs> Sorry, bro. <laughs> oh, my God. Yes, I did. Here's why. Yeah, right. Yeah. Too funny. Yeah, Mike has the headset off right now. It's hurting his ears. I don't know if you know, but Mike's got sensitive ears. Uh, uh, yeah, no, it is me. Sorry, Daniel. It's me. I was taking them off. He's been carrying the weight of the world on those ears for, for a while, and they just they get a little tired. Late at night, you got to take those headphones off. Mine are certainly getting tired. <laughs> I have pointy little elf ears, and they the tips of them kind of get jammed in there. They get tender. Interesting. It's things things about Summerfield. Little known fact. Right. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, my God. No that way. That just happened. No way. Wow. Oh, that's too bad, Lance. I'm sorry to see that. No kid. Yeah, God, God that's a heartbreak. This whole time. And, uh, I did that earlier today. I went for a breakout, and instead of hitting the three balls I wanted to break out, I I hit the went eight ball like I like punching eight. somebody in the nose in seventh grade. Yeah, and the that eight just went across table right in the corner pocket. I guess you did that twice then, because uh, probably because <laughs> I was commentating when you did that earlier. Oh, okay, uh, when that it was right. on the side pocket, right by right oh, by the side this pocket. was worse than that. Really. That time you're talking about, uh -huh. I knew that was real possible, but I had to go. I, had, I just had, had, to to, I had to make yeah. something happen, you know. Uh, I was time, literally saying, you know, like, he wants one, to make sure he doesn't hit the this eight. One was, hit. This one was right after the break, and I thought, I'm going to play a, an amazing breakout. And instead, I went three rails into the eight ball. And seriously, I don't know if you punched a lot of people in the nose when you were a kid, but it was similar just right in the nose of that eight ball. Boom. I did. Right across the table. I feel like I missed a real opportunity, too. I think I would have been a good puncher. Did you did you get man sized quick in your world in your life? 
Did, uh, you, did you end up with man size body? Like man baby size. In yeah. like sixth grade, seventh grade. I was you, a man child. Were a big guy. Yeah. You weren't supposed to punch anybody in the nose. Yeah, you're right. I was. I weighed 120 pounds. You had to punch I your way out. I was five six. Yeah, I was allowed to punch people. Huh? You're allowed to. I was allowed to. There's rules. I was encouraged. Sorry. <laughs> you know what? I'm glad. Huh. I'm glad you work with children. All uh, right. Yeah. <laughs> listen. Yeah. <laughs> it's yep. Definitely man, baby. I was a giant hairless child for a lot of my life. Still am. Uh, I guess I got, a, I mean, a little bit of hair, but pretty, pretty, I'm like those cats. Uh, did you find that people had expectations of you of an older child? <laughs> had. Uh, I guess, yeah. Yeah. Currently, when still. You were, when you were 11, people thought you were 14, and they had expectations of you of oh, a, yeah, of a 14 sure. year old. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm yeah. asking. Or telling you, I guess, really, now that I listen to my tone of voice. He's getting the brow is I'm going to tell you about your childhood. You're like, no, I'm like, oh, yes. Yeah. yeah You're you like, uh, yes, I mean, yes. Yeah, you did. Yeah, you did. Son's 13. He's just under six foot. Yeah. Oh, Can't call him little anymore. That's probably a good call. Dude. Yeah. You know what I just saw in here? Mm. I got a friend request from Angie Deitchman. Oh, really? Yeah. I well, get to be cool. friends, friends with Angie. You should, uh, you should do it. Uh, Rick uh, keeps, uh, I don't know, sometimes he's friends with her and sometimes he's not. No way. I swear they to break God. break up? And Rick, I know Rick, if you said that to Rick, he'd go, huh? <laughs> but but it's true. And I don't know what happens. <laughs> but every once in a while he offends my wife. <laughs> and I'm, I know he's not unfriending my wife. I promise you. That's so funny. Uh, it is funny. Unless so my you wife. think she, she's unfriending him? Is what you're saying? Mm. No, I don't know what's happening. I mean, some people clear out. Some people are like, "That's what I think." That's what yeah. I think the Rick thing is. Is that he's supposed to do it? Yeah. Well, I not her. I think Rick clears out people. Oh, okay. But I don't really know. It is summer with an O. My name is S O M E R. Oh my gosh, that was wow, a really, wow, 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 really nice shot, almost. He has come with some really impressive shots, man. That uh, bank combo we played earlier was gorgeous. That one, I th it, you're going to have a hard time bucking that ball at yeah, that pace. Yeah, no, I agree. But cool idea. Uh, Crowdmaster, I'm, I, I, that's interesting. Be something to uh, keep in mind and to watch as we go. Uh, they both have decent robustness. Uh, you got to believe me on this lance that even one fifty robustness. That's pr that's that's pretty close to full robustness. Uh, that means his uh, his robust his uh, starter rating only factors in for I think uh, like twenty percent of his <laughs> overall Fargo score, and everything else is real actual how he did kind of stats. Huh. Just by the way. You've talked quite a bit with Mike Page about oh, Fargo. Oh, my God, yes. Extensively. Extensively. Too much. Yes. Not too much, because I, I got responsibilities, so I need to know. But, yeah, no, yeah. a lot. No, we've met with him, uh, email, threads. Uh, he's come to some of our meetings for Western BCA. Yeah. yeah. Messenger. Facebook. Yeah. Every Here's how dumb I am. Every now and then, I have the thought where I'm like, you know, I should really get more involved in pool. I should like, I should be going to the meetings. I should go, and I just think that's the dumbest thing I could possibly say. Your uh, your location doesn't help. Uh, you're in Eugene. It'd be a long drive to come to the meetings, uh, and we'd like people to come to the meetings. Uh, but it takes a level of passion for, for Western BCA and league to be able to go through to be able to 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 stick with it. You know. Yeah. Yeah, I wouldn't want you to. And I I do don't do that unless you were into it. You know? Yeah. And I think I am passionate about it, but I think that might affect my passion for it. And I like having something in my life that I'm not yet steep on that. Yeah, dude. Oh, my gosh. Four goes on the side, though, right? Uh, just straight cut now? No, after the one ball, I'm sorry. Yes. Yeah. So I, think I thought okay. that was the nine ball. I think he's okay. I think he's just fine. Yeah. Yeah, John, you and me both, buddy. You and me both. I hear you. 
Turns out right now, maybe not the best time to open a pool hall. Maybe it is. Uh, the only time will tell. Lousy, I don't know. Oh, uh, yeah, John, that would be neat to make a oh, living playing pool. Man. With a snooker table. Yes, indeed, I do love snooker. Yeah, when, when I look at the people making a living playing pool, they are either... I don't know. Do you do you think that you could come with a commitment to the game uh, to play as much as it takes to be a top level pro? Uh, do you think no, that it requires no. something that you don't possess to be a top level pro? Yes, yes. I think the opportunity. Mm -hmm. It's it's similar with golfers. Uh, there's a big tournament every weekend. Yeah, uh, I would consider myself semi pro. If I went to a big tournament every weekend and I did that for a year, yeah, that's that's that. Then you'd call me a pro. Yeah, yeah. It's that's opportunity to do that. Um, mm -hmm. Now sometimes that opportunity involves a huge sacrifices uh, financially and family wise. Yeah. Sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes you're 26 and somebody's paying your way to go to all these tournaments. Uh, sometimes you're in your totally. 20s and you have a grandma who believes in you. And, uh, you know, so there's 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 different versions of that. Yeah. You know, for me, I would, I would that would mean uh, leaving my wife and my kids yeah. at home every weekend and using our finances to travel across the country and, and enter tournaments, totally. which would be not that amusing to my wife. Mm -hmm. And and I that wasn't what I, I wasn't like, why? Why wouldn't you be doing that? I was more saying. Do you think that it is something inherent in a human that allows them to be that? Or do you think it is a matter of time, effort, discipline, and right place, right time? Yeah, I think I think people have that same level of uh, discipline. I think that most of us, uh, for whatever reasons, have to get jobs or do things that, that, that take away from yeah. the life that they have chosen to follow. Uh, and, with, and that's without making any judgments about the choices that they've made or, you know. Yeah. I periodically have the conversation with my mom, usually after losing, uh, where I tell her, uh, and this was when I was playing at probably a little higher level, that I've gotten to the point where it's no longer about playing really, really well. It's about not making a mistake. And I haven't dedicated enough of my life to not make a mistake. And I do think that that's a really distinguished, or the difference between a lot of these people. But I'm talking, that's a, like the, the difference in the level between you and me. Mm -hmm. Whereas going to the top level pro is all of a sudden, it is about the miracle again. Yeah. It's about not making a mistake and making something out of nothing when right. nothing's there. Right. I spent maybe seven years playing uh, two to 14 hours a day, seven days a week. I'm glad I don't have to do that now. I couldn't do that now. And I don't, yeah. don't want to do that now. But it uh -huh. helps me tremendously out on the table that I have that. You yeah. know, background and experience and for sure you know but yeah it's that double-edged sword where that was uh that was a big commitment and i was super into it at the time i'm less into it now i wouldn't want to do that are you as good of a pool player were you as good at 39 as you are at 49 no i think i'm better every year that's awesome that's what i'm trying i to love do. i love that we play a game that i mean you can play late into life yes. and continue to improve or you can still be young like me and and improve. This is huge. <laughs> so wasn't that funny. <laughs> oh, but that's funny. Uh, so yeah, this dude, is big. Like, so, you, yeah, this is gonna happen. This, I, this is huge, dude. Uh, this, yeah, basically stop shot on the fourteen for eight in the corner, right? Whew, huge. And I mean, this is a huge tournament. This, this is Snatchburger reopening he's down a tree. Totally. Who yeah, would have seen down, that? He was down a lot, right? This five thousand dollars, three nothing. That's Dude. not. I don't think. Yeah, maybe it wow. is five for him. I'm making it up. Dude, he's a little off angle. I'm whispering now. That's how I do. Yeah, but the, I mean, this is. It's kind chances of are the biggest yeah. shot he's ever taken. Oh my gosh, what wow. a comeback. Ed Slade, thanks for Holy joining us. Cow. I appreciate it, buddy. Thank you to everybody out there. Huge congratulations to Wayne Nee, 
uh, to Lance Stanchfield. I mean, making a real match out of that. Yeah. After I mean, he was playing so strong. I didn't think there was any way that was going to happen. And Lay played incredibly yeah, the strong. Chat. Yeah. 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 Hey, Summer, this has been great commentating with you here at uh, World World Championships Mike 2020. D, Thank you so very much, much man. Coming to an end. Very cool, dude. This is Bad Boys TV 2020 CSI Expo signing out. Maybe for good. You never know. If it's the end, it's, it's been real. It's been fun. Well, then I'm glad I told that guy to fuck off. <laughs> See you later, Dwayne. <laughs> See you, Dwayne Payne. Yeah. Uh, signing out. Bad Boys TV. OB. Boom. <laughs>